morning. Mommy is live, okay? All right. Let me see. Guys, bear with me just a second. Um, the Facebook stream would not. Let me see if I can reset it. Because there are some people that join us on Facebook. Okay. Yes. Notification gang. How are you? Guys, we're going to go ahead and um, do a quick intro. And I will see you guys on the other side. By the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. By the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. By the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. This is all about clout. <laughs> is it going? Let me move this over a little bit so I can see this a little bit better. Um, how is everyone doing today? Um, my board is not showing. Okay, here it is. Okay, how's it going? Hello, guys, notification gang. Can I get those likes up? Don't forget to hit the like button on your way in here, y'all, because that's what feeds uh, this, this algorithm machine and lets everybody know that I'm live and to come see this uh, content, get come get this, um, all of this, all of this on a Friday, right? Uh, 15 likes and 41 people in the chat. How is everyone doing? Hi, Hollywood Uncut. Hi, JJ. Let's see who the first person was. I think it was Megan Claire. Megan Claire, how are you? Notification gang, gang, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, JJ. Thank you, Nisha L. Miss me with the bullshit. Yes, hello. Hey, Queen J, how are you? Hi, the Erics. Hi, MM. Hi, I. I'm M, maybe? <laughs> um, let's see. Hollywood Uncut. Latoy, D. Harold, Holly, um, Anisha. Brown Eyed Girl, Latoy. Let me look on here. Jay Johnson, Ray of Sunshine. Shine Ray, hello. How are you? Hello. Hi, is it Daniela uh, Alexander? How are you? Kitten Zombie, what's good? Hi, lovely Gabrielle positively blessed. Hello, April. How's it going? Uh, Noni's boo. What's going on? The Eric's hello and pineapples. What's good girl. Um, let's see. Yes. Um, pineapples. I was trying to reach you cause I didn't know if you had the recording from like the last part of yesterday of the epic conversations with Nini, excuse me, with Nisi yesterday. Um, at some, the school system called us yesterday because there was tornado, there was threats of tornado warning. So they closed school yesterday, I guess for the kids, the kids that go hybrid on Thursdays and Fridays, they closed school. So there was a, a message that came through and my screen recording stopped. And when it came back, which was right when me and Nisi started talking, maybe because I had headphones on. 
like it just totally messed up the recording so you guys got actually up into the part okay so if i didn't know if you were going to post it or not if you are it's fine i just wanted to make sure you know because i know some people wanted to see it because i feel like some people were kind of like why was nisi still speaking on this and then when i was signing on today i didn't see her video yesterday that she did with her sister kim where she kind of explained why she did what she did also she's grown and that if she wants to have a couple of drinks at her sister's house, they are grown and they are grown and they are grown, right? Um, hi, Miss True. How are you? Hey, Carol. How are you? Um, look, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, everybody's not going to oh, wait. Look, some of y'all come on here and are two sheets to the wind. We just don't see you guys because you guys come through and try to tear shit up in this comment section. Um with a whole bunch of, you know, nonsense, but we're not talking about you right now. Um, okay. But at the end of the day, you know, people that have enough courage to turn that camera on and come and see you, it's like, my God, you know, and I get it because I mean, I'm getting ready to do like an hour and a half or two hours of reactions on people who do the very same thing. Um, but that's just my content and I'm the one who has to answer for that. But, you know, it is weird um, that, like, the very same things that, you know what I mean? Like, look, it's one of those judging, not judging, and it's cool and everything. But I did have some people come through to my comments and had some things to say. And if you came back to see if you got any replies, you already see that your comment is not there. Because, hi, Patrice, how are you? Bonjour. Um because, you know, Nisi is my friend, and unlike maybe some of the other people that I cover, if I were, if Miss True came on here and me and her were getting toe up, I'm not going to let you post any comments about Miss True. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, if I cover a channel, if I think something is, is particularly unfair, no, I'm not going to let it fly either. Um, am I maybe a little bit more loose with... Um, channels that I um, react on, I'm sure. Is that hypocritical? You be the judge. I, and, and if I am, I, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm producer, director, um, administrator, and chief complaint taker over here. And you know what I mean? Like, you, you put your thing in the comment, and if you don't see it show up, there's probably a reason why, and that's okay. Have your opinion. Know that if it doesn't show up, I did see it. It just might not fly on my comment section. I don't have to subject my audience to it. If this is making a noise, um, I'm sorry. I just need to fix it. Hopefully and done. Okay, we're going to leave it like this. This should be good enough. Okay. Um... Okay, so I just hope that that makes sense. Um, this is not a democracy. This is 100% a dictatorship um, run by me, okay? Um, easy for people to judge and comment dirty when they are anonymous. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Um, exactly, Tam, I agree. And, you know, I have to stand up every day um, and hold myself accountable for things I say, because you guys are going to certainly hold me to it. Um, which is why I posted something today on my other channel. You know, I've been doing YouTube now for a couple of years. Um, I started out vlogging, and um, I enjoy it very much. Um, I have grown, like a lot of people do, um, who vlog. Um Fran, are you still doing coaching? I fell off the bandwagon, but I'm ready to start back up again. Court, of course, you reach out to me and I got you, hun. Okay, so reach out to me and um, let's talk on email. And anyone else out there, what I want to do, because um, a few people have asked me here, and then I guess I just have not seen those emails of people who really, there's, a, there's one person I can think of who I know who's out of the country who reached out to me. And who's going to get started doing some um, doing some YouTube? But if you need a buddy, you need a place to get started. You need someone to kind of like, girl, are you posting? Where's the content? Do you want me to review it? You know, things like that. You know, I'm definitely um, that's something that I do. 
and I kind of was doing it in my member format over on my other channel, but we'll, we can talk about that a little bit later, but court definitely reach out to me and then we can um, get you back started. And if there's anyone else out there who wants to do that, you know, I'm, I'm happy to do that because um, YouTube is not easy. And um, maybe after today, Court, you might reconsider because I'm getting ready to go in on um, maybe not you guys, but maybe there's someone out there who needs to hear this from me directly. Yeah, look, I believe 100% that there are people out here who got a whole lot of shit to say and they have never even hit uh, go on a camera, okay, and posted it to YouTube. Now, I want to say something specifically to someone yesterday who I blocked. And I blocked you for a reason. Number one, you come through here talking the most shit. And I know for a fact that you are blocked from several channels because you got a mouth on you, lady. And um, I take it for what it is. You're a mouthy old broad, okay? And I don't mind because maybe one day, if I'm lucky, God willing, I, I might be a mouthy old broad, okay? But I was raised with a certain amount of manners um again like i said there's a certain amount of stuff that's going to slip through because maybe i comment on some of these mommies out here but if you bring that shit to me or you bring that shit to some of my friends and it's on my channel yeah i'm going to have a problem with it and furthermore if you know me bring that shit to my husband or my daughter I'm going to want to kick your ass. Now, am I coming to kick your ass? Of course not, because I'm a fucking lady, okay? And I don't have time for bullshit and to lower myself down to, um, down in, in just the pits, okay? But I'm going to tell you this. Yesterday, um, I was doing a premiere and somebody had the nerve to set, set a stage, set, like set the scene on a situation in in presumably what this woman thinks is my future bitch let me tell you something no it's not don't fuck with me and certainly don't fuck with my kid don't put my kid up in no damn situations talking about imagine when your daughter is 21 and you're sitting on a couch high what the fuck are you kidding me? Do you know I have my daughter at 40? Okay, that's a blessing enough because there's plenty of women out here who would love to have a baby at 40. I had one at 40, okay? And at 21, yeah, I'm going to be 61 years old. Something like Kris Jenner. You know, Kris Jenner, I think, is 64, 65 now. She had, uh, I think she had Kylie or Kendall. Maybe she had Kendall at 40, and I think she had Kylie at 41 and a half, 42. Um, don't fuck with me. And don't you ever try to put some shit like that. Like, no one's ever displayed anything of that nature on this channel, my other channel. Why you would say something like that to me is absolutely insane. And I, I addressed you accordingly. And because I have respect... And I didn't want you out here looking stupid because I know you stay out here in these comments and on these videos. I deleted the comments pretty much right after I said it um, because I allowed you to stay in the chat. You, with some good sense, didn't bother to say anything else because, yeah, I shut you down. But don't do that again, lady. Don't do it again. I blocked you and I'm going to unblock you to see what type of woman you are, to see if you come down out the bushes and apologize like a real grown woman should and would who says something out of left field to someone who has never done anything to you but welcome you to her chat and be kind to you because as I'd stated previously I know your ass is blocked all over up and down these YouTube streets because you run your ass you, you run your comments you know you run your mouth the most so I'm saying that to say this, like I said, I'm going to unblock you and uh, come correct, period. I, You owe me an apology. You owe my daughter, who is nine years old, an apology, who does not, I don't have my kid. You know, shouts out to anyone who has your daughters or sons or whomever out here on these YouTube streets. That's up to you, okay? Me personally, 
if you see my daughter, it's because I'm in my house and she's in her house and she is schooling right now independently talking to her teacher she is good till four o'clock okay um exactly queen j what the fuck what the fuck you know what i'm saying like bitch don't talk about my fucking kid you know what i'm saying i don't talk about yours you don't see me running my mouth about it like oh i love those hair bows okay maybe they're gosh maybe they should loosen up the hair bow a little bit i don't talk about you guys and i'm gonna put you guys out here for a minute you guys have lots of opinions on people's kids and i don't say anything i say sometimes i say guys let's let's tone it down or let's not talk about the kids today or let's something whatever um but you guys know me if you come to my channel you know me and you know i don't i don't give i don't give any conversation to nobody's babies okay Number one, because I know how it works out here. You do something, they're going to do it to you, right? They don't know Fran does not play when it comes to her family. Absolutely not. And my friends. And you guys are my friends. So that's why I'm telling you. Um, it, you know, it is what it is. If if Jasmine and Chrissy and all them put their kids out, they want to trot their kids out um, on these YouTube streets for coin, that's on them. If my daughter comes in here, she's asking me a question, she's going right out. Every blue moon, you're going to see her on my other channel because my channel, my other channel is about my life. Does ratchet stuff happen in our life? Fuck yeah. Am I going to film it? Hell to the no. If it's funny, maybe I will. I don't know. Do I give people a false impression that my shit don't stink and shit is lovely over here? If that's what you want to think. But I think that I'm wise enough to know that I'm not going to come with the bullshit on my other channel because that's not the image that i want to portray okay i'm not lying why do i need to show you that i wiped my ass if i took a shit you know what i'm saying like i think the assumption is yes yeah, she wiped she wiped her ass you know what i'm saying like shit happens in people's lives everything is not always perfect we are not um a you know i mean look my husband and I, we come from two totally different backgrounds. And at the end of the day, I love my family, period. And I'm not going to even differentiate between his family and my family. But we come from two different spaces and places. And at the end of the day, shit can be fucked up anywhere. All right? And um, is that any of y'all's business? No. Why wouldn't I film it? Because they didn't ask for this and I'm not sharing my check. Okay? I'm not. Yes, you guys are you guys are my YouTube family right here. I love you guys. When I go back and look at lives and comments, some of you guys have been commenting on videos that I've been putting up for years now. Okay? Years. You guys have seen me riding in my car, um, you know, with my weight up, with my weight down. Um my husband just texted me. He said, I'm really the one that don't play. Yeah, I'm the softie in the house, okay? I'm, I am the softie in the house. But let me tell you, my husband will tell you. I, I, we, had a, um, we had a situation earlier this week, and I went from zero. I was like, are you kidding me? I had to cuss someone out, and they're like 76 years old. I was like, I don't give a fuck. Cause I'm grown too. You know what I mean? Like I'm 50. Sometimes I have to remind myself, girl, you grown, you, you part of the grown set now, because in my heart, yeah, your girl's still about 24, 25. Maybe that's why I still look so young. You know, don't get it twisted. You are only as young as you feel. And some of you dolls out there who want to feel like you're old and you're young girl, don't do it. Keep your, um, keep your spirit and your heart young because therefore your look will stay young you know what i mean there are people out here who are damn in their late 40s early 50s and i'm sorry i'm just gonna tell it like it is it's friday y'all look like shit okay and you look like shit because you want to look like shit i mean i can't come through and do a makeover for you i mean that's not my show um if somebody wanted to come down give me a million dollars and let me produce a let me get your ass back on track show maybe i would but at the end of the day, 
you are only as old as you feel. And in my heart is about 24 to 20 something years old. I'm still in my 20s um, in my heart and my mind. Right. And I have to remind myself sometimes, bitch, you grown. I told that I told that old lady off. OK. She was feeling kind of bad when she walked away because, yeah, don't come over here playing with me. OK. Young, cripple, crazy, elderly, ring this doorbell, see what the fuck happens, okay? And that's on period. Um, so to the person, you know who you are, I'm going to unblock you to see how you handle things because you might not even see the video until later tonight. I don't know. I don't even care to know what your schedule is. I don't know. I don't care. Um, I want to see how you handle things. If you are going to woman up, and come through with an apology for a child that um, would probably be like, oh, that's a nice lady. An innocent child who is not even thinking of you. For you to say something like that and even just put that in the ether or even just to discuss a child that you don't know. There's people in here who have sent my daughter cards. They have sent my daughter money. They have sent my daughter, no, I would never do that to a Jehovah's Witness, no. Um, not because they're Jehovah's Witness or someone who's coming to try and give me the word of God. Um, I'm not offended by someone coming to bring me the word of God that is not of my faith. Um, I would never do that to someone. I can't. I, I was I was talking grimy to someone who came over to deliver me some information at a time that I was not interested in hearing it, and um, and uh, could have just put it in the mail or you know, called me, whatever, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a whole, it's a, it's a, it's a situation that I want to say, um, simply because I'm not trying to give any troll out here, any clues of anything that is none of their fucking business. Okay. Um, but trust me, no, it was, it would not be some innocent, um, who came through to bring me the word. Um, because even though I am not Jehovah's witness, seventh day Adventist, any of that, um, I respect their, um, right to practice how they do and they do what they do i do what i do but come over here with the fuck shit and i'm gonna cuss you out period okay she came over with some fuck shit okay um there's some people yes modi yes it's one of those days you know what i'm saying like my anniversary is monday i've got a certain there's a certain woman out here you know how on these youtube streets because i guess this is some youtube streets drama um, babe, you know what I'm talking about the other day. Um, there's a certain lady who, um, or woman rather, I don't know if she's a lady. I don't know her from a hole in the wall. Um, so someone, uh, commented yesterday about some creep named Cornbread who likes to materialize every blue moon. Someone who... I don't, I don't know who they are. I don't know if cornbread is an informant or, co or cornbread is code word for my husband's ex-wife, right? Or somebody who likes to report in on my husband's ex-wife. But my husband has been separated from this woman, I don't even know for how long. I would say at least a dozen years, at least a dozen. Farrah's going to be 10, okay? Am I, am I lagging behind? Because I want to make sure you guys get this full message, i.e. cornbread. Hear me loud and clear to the bitch in the back who commented on my good, clean, wholesome mommy page. Fuck you. Um, I'm still pissed. You're a fucking bitch. Don't come leave me messages about other content creators over here because you're fucking wasting your time. It's not going to be posted, you stupid slore. And as far as bringing messages, dragging messages from a bitch that has our phone number who can't get through anyway because we have no business with you. This There's a woman out here who wants to try to, you know, say, look, saying some stupid shit that's not even real. I, I, I hate to put it out there because I don't want her to see more crazy than delusional, but I'm going to just say it like this. My, my husband has one child. We have one kid. And that one kid is up under this roof. Bitch is so sad that my husband is 42 years old and he still got bitches trying to put babies on him. Is that not 
Is that not crazy? You know what I'm saying? Like y'all in your 20s, um, y'all in your 30s, I'm telling you, go out here and get you a high value man, whether you're whether your man is high value in the low value range, in the mid value range, or a high value, high, high range man, okay? But if you're on the high side, understand that these bitches are going to want what you got and they're going to aim for it, okay? And when they get dumped by a high value man for a bad bitch, oh, they're hurting. They hurt. They hurt a lot. And some may hurt a lifetime. OK, but at the end of the day, if you couldn't handle what you had when you had them and another bad bitch stepped in and did her damn thing. Well, it is what it is. That's just kind of how the cookie crumbles. OK. It, that's how the cookie crumbles and it is what it is and it's going to be what it's going to be. And we are married and our anniversary number seven is on Monday and um and that's and that's that on that okay um don't leave any messages on my channel about somebody's got some you know information or whatever I don't care information about what getting dumped information about what getting your ass beat I mean I didn't beat anybody's ass but they sure did get their ass beat by their sister-in-laws yeah that wasn't me that was not me for the 50th time. I was not even in the picture. That bitch got her ass beat by her sister-in-laws because she was doing some old grimy shit. And if you want me to talk about that, I will if you keep trying to get in touch with people about me. Nobody, nobody gives a shit. And if let me tell you something. I don't have a problem dropping my own tea. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, this channel's not about that. My other channel today, I posted a whole vlog. It was about my plans, okay? Um, if I want to drop my own tea, I will. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, can I tell my own story? But, bitch, if it's your story about how you failed at a marriage or whatever the fuck you did, start a YouTube channel and talk about it because that's not my story. Only reason why I'm talking about this is because it includes my husband and some stupid bitch is leaving comments in my comments section. This isn't even about me. I wasn't there. I never even met this woman. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just pisses me off. Stop leaving fucking comments for me about some shit that don't involve me. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had some grimy shit happen in our family. Uh, my husband had his identities taken by a family member who is no longer with us. This person has passed away, um, unfortunately. I want to say it in the best way I can because there's people hurting. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person had an untimely passing and this person was in, um, in distress. Their life was not going well. Just imagine any of your family members who do fuck shit and typically what's going on with them, right? They're not in a good place. All right. Um, and I'm still glowing because I am uh, every day growing and, and still showing, okay? Showing bitches what to do and what not to do. Look, we all have lives. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ashamed of any of it, okay? Um, it's only when people feel like there's some shame or there's something to hide or something to cover or bitch we perfect out here. Yeah, that's not me. You got me all wrong. Once again, boom, you're wrong. You don't know me. If you knew me, you know I'm a very humble, humble type woman, okay? And um, God is going to bless those who are humble, who don't even see um, what others see, you know? I mean, it is what it is. But, you know, uh, my husband had a cousin who, you know, I've spoken on this. If you're in my members, you've already seen the video or you have access to it. If you're a member, there's, you know, there's, there's over 100 of you. Um, go check it out. Okay, there's a video and me and my husband, we did a whole sit down. Okay, answer questions and probably to even more detail than what I'm, there is more detail than what I'm telling right now, just because um, I want to be respectful because at that point in time, that person was not dead. Um, but now that person is dead and I want to be respectful and uh, let that person rest in peace and not drag um, out what everybody already knows on this internet. Okay. 
Um, but at the end of the day, people want to call. The reason why I'm talking about that is people want to take out my husband's mugshot. Girl, find another one. The reason why they could settle the affair on the street in terms of pulling him over and thinking that he's somebody else who used his identity is because he doesn't have a string of mug shots and a rap sheet, okay? He doesn't have a record, okay? Okay, okay? But people want to parade my husband's mug shot, but once again, that's my husband, but what the fuck do you have on me? This is my channel. Where's my shit? Where's my shit? Hello? Once again, something about someone else that's not me. Bitch, find something on me, okay? Okay. You know what I'm saying? When I talk about, oh, Patrice, well, I'm not going to tell you how to find it, but trust me. There's a, there's, a, there's a couple of hoes out here on these YouTube streets who have several videos posted with my husband's mugshot. And it's, it's you know, it's whatever. If that bitch, if that's how you get views, good. I don't care. No. And Olivia did it too. She's one of the hoes who did it. That's why I came here that day and cussed her the fuck out. Because not only did she put him on Plenty of Fish... Olivia tried to be cute and put my husband's mugshot on her Insta stories where she has 23,000 followers, that stupid, filthy slore. So any of you come back to my comments and tell me that I'm obsessed with Olivia, tell her to kiss and lick my ass, okay? Because she's a bitch and I've never talked about her husband. She's a stupid idiot. She lost her husband because she's a dumb slut. And she's in the situation she's in now because of that. But because she's mad and she has some sort of fantasies about my husband because, guys, let the truth be told, that bitch has been watching my channel since the beginning, since I had probably 10 subscribers. She's, she's like one of my cornerstone fans, okay? She watches my channel and that bitch is lusting after my husband so she low key just doesn't like me and then she wants to say that I'm infatuated with her nasty disgusting ass are you kidding me absolutely not no the fuck I'm not what the fuck do you have that I want a nasty shitty apartment in Florida what the fuck I go stay in resorts when I go to Florida okay can I get some uh some manicure hands in the chat please um, we go stay in resorts. We are on vacation, okay? We 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 have a good time. We're spending um, stacks when we go to Florida. I'm not sitting around trying to figure out how the fuck I'm going to pay my rent and what dick I'm going to jump on, okay? Girl, okay? So that, that does tie back into um, Brandon. Um, Brandon thought he wanted to tell some tea. And you see how he runs my name. You know why he runs my name? It's not because I've emailed him. It's not because I've been trying to get an interview with him. Brandon knows my name because that bitch talks about me constantly in her fucking house. Okay? I'm speaking directly in the mic. So, bitch, you can hear me. Okay? Okay? Okay, okay? Stop playing with me. All right? I don't even know you. All I know is that you're a nasty slur and I watch your channel and I watch all the dumb shit you do. And then I come on here for an hour and I talk about it with my YouTube uh, buddies and we have a key key at your expense. And then once a month, YouTube drops me a bag. OK, that's how it works. Don't fuck with me. All right. So when Brandon said he wanted to spill her tea. I was like, okay, she just put out a plenty of fish profile on my, why is it that LSA posts your plenty of fish? And, you know, I got a, I got a mixed feelings about LSA and I'm going to tell you why. I don't go to Olivia's thread. You know why? Because her ass is in the thread. Who goes to their own thread on Lipstick Alley? What a fucking loser. But the bitches that are in her thread for some reason have a hard on for me and they like to post stupid shit about me. And then there's a, a, a thread for Tasha 
And then periodically people like to talk about me in there too. Why would I go to those threads? I go to the threads of people that I cover because that's where I can see information and I'm in there just like you guys are, right? Um, I don't go to her thread. For what? I know all I need to know about Olivia. I'm a private member. I watch her videos and damn, I'm, I'm plugged in with your family, ho. So if I need to know something, I, you know, I mean, I'm going to look, my ears are always open. Put it that way. You stupid slore. Um, you, it's just such a coincidence that the day after someone posts something on you and I talk about it, um, someone thinks it's a great idea to, to say that my husband is some country boy on POF. I'm like, you got to fucking be kidding me. You're so stupid. You are so stupid and predictable. Patrice, give me give me five minutes because I that's that's about all I need on her. Okay, we're we're gonna get to jazz, guys. Um, okay, so we're gonna get up off of me because again, like I always say, this channel's not about me, right? This channel's not about me. Um, she's a tramp. Yes, read that tramp, that duck lip Jezebel girl. Look, Olivia, this is what people really think about you. Olivia, when you get off live or wherever you're at, is this, is she? Okay, I don't think, I don't think she's live. I think she just put up a video. Um, when you get a chance and you um, watch this video, hey, Marriage and Marijuana, how are you? Uh, Miss Chin, everybody who's coming late, I'm sorry. I had to go off because these bitches need to know. Don't fuck with me. Um, yes, this is YouTube streets. Um, yes, I'm a nice woman and all of that, but don't get it twisted. I will come for your neck and period on site. Right. Um, it, it's, that's it. And whoever is commenting some grimy shit in my comments, understand, I see it. I do see it. Um, is it going to fly? You saying to me, you're suppressing comments. You shouldn't delete com Talk to the bitches that just have their comments closed. Talk to them. My comments are open. But if you say something slick to me, yes, my name is not Jasmine. I am not slow. You will never call me fucking radio, okay? Um, if you say some grimy shit about me, it's getting deleted. What the fuck? I had to look at it to delete it. I mean... Damn, I mean, really? You people are dumb if you think that I'm going to allow a comment about me or my family or you saying stupid about something stupid about somebody that I like in my comments. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So get your shit off, pop your pop your shit and and think you're cute um, in the comments. It will get flagged, of course, because everything there's a there's people in here right now who um Girl, Olivia, let me tell you something. If you thought for a second my husband wants you, he just sent me a text right now. Um, he talks about your ass so bad. Um, it's and not even like in a in a look. It's it's husband and wife chatter, okay? About a bitch who keeps talk, who keeps running our names, okay? Um, otherwise, he's as least concerned about any of you ladies. My husband is a hundred percent into what he's into, which is guy stuff and cars and keeping this lady happy right here this this lady happy okay um he yeah he's not interested but um back to my point um and i forgot babe you distracted me um but anyway i'm i'm done i just needed for um these people to know stay out my comments if you want to be in my comments understand you trying to guilt me because I am deleting your comment. I don't give a fuck. If you want comments to fly, you go right on ahead. You start a channel, send me a link. And when you post a fucking video worth watching, I will come over there and I will light your comments up with some bullshit. Okay. Well, maybe not, probably not because you know, guys, you know, I like to stay in the bushes. I don't need to be on the record anywhere. Um, but somehow I will get word to you that I'm cussing your ass out. Um, how is it that a lady talks awful about another woman? Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. I, let's see who this is. Don't anyone delete this because I want to read this. How is it that a lady talks? Wait, let me put this on the board. 
because Lynn, I'm getting ready to like light your ass up because I'm going to give you an answer to your question. How is it that a lady talks awful about another woman and laughs at her own expense? That's weird, Franny. You are always talking about how much he loves you. Why you feel like you got to keep saying it. Um, I don't. Did I say how much my husband loves me? What did I say? Did I say that? I don't think I said that at all. You see what I'm saying? Trolls like to come out and distract, distort, and create storylines. Did I say anything about how much my husband loves me? I mean, I guess I did in the sense that when I said, oh, that's stuff that husbands and wives talk about. I guess I said all the things that salty, slow ass, stupid slurs hear when they are so um, triggered by hearing about someone who's actually in a good relationship, okay? Um, stupid bitches, when you hear, I've got on white pants, they hear you bragging about your wardrobe, okay? Um, slow ass, dumb whores are jealous and can't hear anything but you saying stuff about them, okay? When, bitch, I'm not talking about you. I don't have to talk about my husband incessantly. I don't have to um, say how much he loves me because you guys know this just from the way I walk and I talk. I walk like a bitch who feels good about themselves, okay? And at the end of the day, it is what it is. And if you don't like it, damn it, there's a billion people that come through damn YouTube, okay? And lots of people who got channels that if I'm not spitting the shit that you want to hear, go find you another channel. Because I don't care how much of whatever you think I am sounds like, I sound like me. And if you don't like it, fuck it and go, okay? I'm serious. And that's, that's, that's period, okay? I run my channel how I run my channel, okay? I love my subscribers, I love my members, I love my mods, and I love the people who love me. If you don't love me, fuck you and bye, okay? And I mean it. And if you want to come and you don't like me, stay your ass in the bushes and keep quiet and don't comment bullshit in my comment section or else I'm going to call your ass out. And to the bitch who came through the chat yesterday trying to be cute when I gave you a chance and nobody else does because your ass is blocked everywhere, bitch, you fucked up, okay? And like I said, I'm going to unblock you and I'm going to see what you do, but you owe me an apology. And if I don't see an apology, I'm going to block your ass again, okay? And that's on God. Now, Patrice, I'm going to send down a link and you can close your camera, but you're going to need to update me on Jasmine and what you want to talk about, okay? Is there anybody who is... um courageous enough to come down out this chat to talk Jasmine because I was ready to talk Chrissy and her sudden departure with a long kakamimi story about that house being for sale. Yes, who am I? Who am I? You may ask me, Francoise, um, Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts, um, chief editor, uh, reporter, commentator and and head of security i'm a bitch period pineapples you said double blocked yes if i said the person's name now everybody would know but i don't want to anyone who was there and saw it you saw it and you may know who i'm talking about but i'm not going to because i'm a fucking lady and i i believe in forgiveness as a christian um, I'm not going to say this person's name because if they decide they want to come back to the chat again and they want to come chill with us and act accordingly, um, I want them to feel welcome to do so. So I'm not going to drag them up and down the street, but come through, come through grimy because I talked shit to you today, but I would venture to guess if someone came through and talked about your son or daughter or your husband or your marriage or or anything which you did you did none of those things but you disrespected my beautiful innocent child bitch i came for you and that's it i'm done all right i'm telling you like y'all you guys don't understand this youtube stuff is stressful <laughs> And I do a lot of work 
trying to bring content to you guys. And this is the content that you guys like. You guys like this shit. You guys like this uh, this gossip. You guys like chit-chatting on, on certain topics. And we do that. And um, it's not easy. It's not easy taking this bullshit that Jasmine puts out and making it into something that you guys are like, oh my God, this is so funny. Hi, Della. And it was not Queen Della. Della... Della is good with me. I love Della. Della is a lady. And um, Della, I think, I don't know if you were here yesterday, but somebody who I, who I respect like Della or who I respected or, or who I thought I had respect for disrespected me and it would be just as much as Della coming down and disrespecting me like that. I was very disappointed in what this person did because like I said, there's people out here um, who have sent, even Miss Della has sent my daughter like a handmade beautiful card, okay? Um, people who have, you know, I mean, look, they haven't showered me like Jasmine, but I'm not complaining either, but anything that someone does and sends a kindness uh, to my family is well appreciated, okay? And um, for someone to disrespect a child that does not even show up on this camera probably 90 something percent of the time um and is only here because of me she doesn't deserve that don't you ever do that again period you know what i mean it's like i have to think twice before i put pictures out um i want to share my family with you guys but i just don't because there are assholes out here that are so fucking jealous of anything they um truly jealous and not just fictitious jealous um that will say something about an innocent child and um that's wrong and i think it's wrong period i don't care whose kids it is i don't care if it's jasmine's kids i don't care if it's chrissy's kids keisha's kids anybody's kids these kids really aren't on here because yes hon i'm fine i'm fine i appreciate you checking on me um these kids are on here because their parents, a lot of them are thirsty. Okay. I'm just going to be straight up. Um, take that how it resonates. Period. Take it how it, take it how it fell. You want to show your kids? That's your business. But oftentimes, my opinion is that a lot of people are showing these kids because they're thirsty for content. And who doesn't want to see like a cute kid moment? Um, but if your kids are getting dragged, that's the moment that you do like what I just did and cuss a bitch out for 45 minutes, okay? And let these people know, don't come for my child, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even, I wasn't even talking about her. When do I ever talk about my child on here? But now, this is the most. And it's horrific of which this, uh, you know, on, on, this, uh, on this topic that I even had to cuss somebody out on this. Hey, E. Joseph, you know what I'm saying? Like, um... But yeah, I don't, I don't, you guys know that. Did, was Farrah even in my vlog that posted today? I don't know, maybe, because I mean, she lives here and, and I am her mother, right? It would make sense. But in YouTube world, is it, is it totally like outrageous that you have a whole mom who doesn't show her family or her husband? Um, oh my goodness, right? Someone who actually fell back on just doing some content, including them, right? Go figure. It, it, it is real, guys. It, it does actually happen that everybody is not exploiting their children for coin um, or because they just are too lazy to vlog better. Um, yes, I said it. Okay, I said it. I said it. I said it because I do it. Um, I'm not just saying it and you guys go do it or you figure it out. I say it because I've done it and because I don't want people talking about my kid. I am very limited in showing my family, but I do show my family because I'm a mom, but I'm not going to, my content does not revolve around my daughter because I don't appreciate the negative discourse. That's not what she signed up for. I signed up for it. My, I, my husband didn't even sign up for it. He deals with it because he knows that it's my thing. And if it's my thing, it's his thing. And okay, Lynn, did I say too much for you? Um, it, was that too much? Is that too much? Am I kissing my husband's ass too much for you? Gosh, these bitches out here are fucking crazy, okay? 
seriously, you guys got to low key check yourselves. I mean, at the end of the day, just because I come through and do commentary on some channels on here on YouTube, girl, if I ever become that type of a jealous, salty slore, um, somebody check me because this is, this is ridiculous. You people are trash. Okay. Seriously. If you, if you can't come through here with something, without something like constructive to say, bitch, stay in the bushes or else you're going to get blocked. Trust me. Okay. Who's coming down? Is it Megan? Is it Patrice? Who's, who's clicking on the link? If one of you damn trolls come through, I'm going to cuss your ass out. I'm going to leave you on here and I'm going to cuss your fucking ass out. Okay. That is not an invitation. It's a promise. I'm putting down the link. I'm expecting people to govern themselves accordingly. Bitch, you come through. I'm going to cuss your fucking ass out. Keep it cute or keep it on mute. Okay? Let's go. Jasmine got herself a bigger TV. Good. I mean, shit. What do you want to go blind? You got a damn 20 inch TV and people got 85 and a hundred inches out here. Champagne's laughing at me. Girl, I'm not kidding. These people get it twisted. They think I'm some kind of just, yes, I am a suburban mom. Yes, I am a suburban mom. I grew up in the suburbs. I went to Catholic school. We are, we are, we are all proper and, and all that. Um, uh, you know, the way I was raised, whatever, but who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a person and, um, I have my own personality and I will cuss somebody out in a minute. Yes. Who did something in Fran? Um, house of she, thank you for asking. I appreciate you caring. Um, go ahead and slide the bar back and then you can start from the beginning once this is over and you will, you just get your, you know, be ready to laugh because I cussed somebody out. Somebody, um, so yesterday, really quick, somebody said something stupid in the comments and it was in reference, it just like was a dumb scenario and they uh, mentioned, like they included my daughter in it and I was just like, no, no, not today. Like, you know what I mean? It's one of these guys, you got to teach people how to treat you and if you allow people to treat you um, like you have no balls, um, this is someone named Dez. Hello. Okay. So they disconnected. Um, I don't know who Des is or was, but Des, if Des was on that fuck shit, Des, you did the right thing. Okay. Um, yes. Let me pin it to the top. Is anybody knowledgeable on Jasmine who wants to call in? You guys don't be scared. You guys know I am, I am a putty cat. Okay. I am a putty, putty cat, all right? Um, I see all these other channels. People can't wait to be on the damn panel. They got panels on panels on, like the panels have panels, okay? Um, I know you guys are not afraid. To, uh, is Shanita, Shanita, are you watching? My God, I saw when Shanita opened up the lines and, and nobody wanted to call in, or I don't even know if anyone called in finally. Um, cause I, I got off, um, but she was on for a couple minutes and, um, I don't know if Kells were listening, she would call in. Let's see. I sound like a baby. I don't want you guys teasing me. Patrice, you sound like a baby. What do you mean? You sound like a baby. People tell me I sound like a phone sex operator in my videos. Is this because I've got a good microphone, um, I guess. And thank you. You know what? I need to just call out the people who say I sound sexy or like a phone sex operator because clearly I am giving you the vapors when you type those comments. So um, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'll just say it like that. Hi, Trey Bay. How are you? Um, if you got balls and you got something to say, it's Friday. Click on the link and uh, say it respectfully. And um, even and you can go ahead and call in, okay? 
Jasmine is over there sending her income tax and her stimulator check by herself on TVs, flowers, and things uh, claiming that Chris bought them. Okay. Can't believe she has access to a pool and only took her kids one of the, because she's, see, I've been cussing out so much. I was going to say, cause she's a dumb slur, um, but that's not true. She's not a dumb S L O R E. Um, but she's, she's a dingbat. Um, why you live in Texas, you live in a nice place, a nice climate, maybe. Okay. Let's do this. Maybe because of Rona, when she moved in last year, it was winter. And by the time winter, you know, went off to become spring and summer, um, it was Rona. So let's maybe that, and then maybe the pool wasn't open, but we know the pool's open now because she went and dipped buckets in it to go flush her toilets and had to haul, uh, haul the buckets back, uh, because teeth is a bum. V Love says, nobody will understand your island talk. I will understand your island talk. Deandra, hello, I see you. Um, can't believe she has access to a pool. Okay, I read that one. Okay, Jazz issued a challenge for reactors on what you're doing with your kids for spring break. My spring break is in two weeks. Um, I mean, I, I should have tagged her on my video today, but it wasn't like, oh, when I get up and do my shit vlog. Um, I actually went and bought a nutritious, healthy um, uh, grocery haul from Sam's with like real vegetables um, that are not frozen and no shade. Look, I am being shady, but shouts out to all of you who love frozen vegetables. Okay. Let me say it like that. Shouts out to all of you guys. Um, I do freeze my vegetables when it gets to a point that I'm, I see that like, okay, they're a week or they're getting over a week and I'm going to chop them up and throw them in the freezer and use those when I do like soups and stews and things like that. Um, I just, I freeze my own shit. I don't buy frozen vegetables cause I, I don't like them. My husband actually, he, he wants them fresh too. Lynn, did I say, did I say my husband too much? Bitch, let me tell you something. I'm going to say this too. I'm married. And just like people say Bay or my boyfriend, I say my husband. Me saying my husband doesn't mean that I think I'm better than you. Me saying my husband means I'm a married fucking bitch, okay? And if it, if it bothers you that your ass isn't married or your ass doesn't have a husband, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wash your ass, read a book, um, maybe go outside, put some makeup on, buy some clothes, act like somebody who wants to get wifed up, learn how to cook. I don't know. But the fact of me saying my husband, if that's a trigger for you, this is the wrong fucking channel, okay? It's the wrong fucking channel, and I mean it wholeheartedly, okay? This is a channel of women who want to be around other women who want to level up. And I'm sorry, even in this society in 2021, a level up is marriage. Whether you are a lesbian or you are homosexual, um, male or you are whatever you are, we all know that a level up is when you are, when you're married. I'm sorry. That's, and that's my opinion. If you don't think it's a level up then that's you, but children levels you up. Um, lots of different things. Buying a house levels you up. We all know that there's levels to this shit. Okay. You get a bigger house. You go from an apartment to a house, to a bigger house, to that bad house, to that forever home. Um, when you get a Toyota, uh, maybe you might have, you may have that shit, Toyota. I don't know. Um, but then you go and then you get um, a Mercedes. And then maybe you get yourself, um, I don't know, what's better than a Mercedes? Um, a Lambo. Okay, there's levels to this shit. Can you drive all of them to Walmart? Certainly. Okay. But there's levels to this shit. And if me saying husband to you bothers you so much, don't fucking watch this channel. Okay, bitch? Period. I'm tired of it. Like, I'm not going to dumb myself down and demure myself to make bitches comfortable. Okay? Period. I mean, today, this is just that type of day. Della, I'm sorry. I I do cuss. I'm from Jersey. Okay? And um, I cuss. All right? 
And at the end of the day, it just is a Bentley. Thank you. Yes. So, you know what I'm saying? Like everything goes to the store, um, but there's just levels, right? Um, if I was driving a Bentley, I would say, and yeah, and we pulled out the Bentley and I'm sure somebody would be like, oh, she thinks she's so all of that because she got a damn Bentley. Okay. You know what? There's people out here to them. That Bentley is just a damn car. And God willing, on one day that I live on this earth, in this lifetime, maybe I will be at that point one day where I just refer to the Bentley as just another fucking car. Do you remember, did you see when uh, Todd, when Todd uh, gave Candy that Bentley for her birthday? And he, and, and she was just kind of like, I mean, she liked it as like, oh, this is such a nice car. Um, but he gave it to her like it was just another car. Yeah, that was nice. And that didn't hurt me at all. That didn't hurt my feelings at all. I was like, you know, that's 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 so cool when you have so much money that it's 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 uh it's not so relevant what it is. It's just something that you like. Okay? I he just bought her what she liked because they've got it like that, okay? And clearly if me talking about my husband um bothers you um, it's because you probably don't have it like that. And this is the bougie, bougie gang. And we got it like that, or they're going to get it like that and are positioning themselves to have it like that. And you might need to go ahead over to the broke beach, the broke basic bitch meetup. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I titled this wrong. Cause I said basic on basic. No, that doesn't mean for you to come in. If you are a, we don't speak basic ho over here. That is not the language that we speak. So if you are looking for the basic ho meetup, turn around, exit, and go somewhere else because this is not that. Okay. Um, I wonder what Chris looks like in a swimming suit. Probably disgusting. Um, yeah. You already know what he does. He's got he's got the um, he's got hips. He's got handlebars. I bet you Lynn is Olivia. Um, Arlene, Arlene Booker, if you are out there, click on the link so we can check in with you, see how everything is going with your daughter. Um, let's see, you know, I mean, it, look, it is what it is. Um, you guys are always welcome to call in. Um, if Kells were, um, around, I know she would, um, tr for some reason, whenever Miss True calls me, her, like, it just, it's weird. Like her phone messes up, but Miss True, if you're out there, um, I just do this all the time myself, so I just never really think about throwing down the link. But I know that there are there are like I said, there are channels that they just they just panel on panel. Um, Della, you understand? You're giving me a pass. Can you believe that? I know if someone spoke on one of your sons or your grand your little grand, let me tell you something. I already know. See, there's people out here who share stuff with me, and I would never. You know what I'm saying? They 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 love me so much. They're gonna send me pictures. Let me see what their family looks like. And I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like I respect that. And I appreciate that that someone thinks enough of me to share um what's dear to them because family is dear to me, trust and believe. I would love to share pictures and stuff with you of certain things, like my parents. Um, I miss my parents dearly, and I'm very proud of my parents. Um, but because I know how hateful ass people are who don't have shit and have never accomplished anything and are fucking losers when you share stuff and um and you know and then they then they disrespect it and that would be enough for me to want to get one of those charges like rod has and i don't you know i don't need to mess my life up for like a no good loser because um they're just trying to to um get my blood pressure up you know what i'm saying Keep, in mind, keep that in mind, guys. Trust and believe. Um, there are people out here 
and you guys know this, especially as you guys start to migrate back into work and migrate back into going up into these schools um, with people who are very unhappy in their jobs and with their life, and they see someone come in and you're smelling fresh, you've got your good perfume on, you've got your good wig, or your weave is done, or your hair is braided bad, okay? And you just, you know, and your kid is always dressed, but your kid's a little mouthy, okay? We know this. We know our kids, uh, we know our kids' downfalls, right? Um, understand, you know, people will come for you, and people will come the wrong way. But we, you know, you have to rise above it. But sometimes you do have to check somebody, right? You got to check people sometimes. And um, and that's that. Um, so Jasmine, let's see. Jasmine kissed the stimmy goodbye as soon as it deposited. Um, so Jasmine's trying to get her house. Um, is it a short episode? Because I could put it, I can, I could, I'm on StreamYard, so I could, I could stream it. I'm trying to get my color up. I don't know what's going on. My color is really light. That's better. I don't I don't like um one time I had see this is a whole comments thing. I need to just start back doing addressing the comments. I used to do addressing the comments all the time. And maybe because I haven't been doing it, I've got all this like and in the comments um someone said something to me about primping and doing my makeup and stuff like that. And I'm thinking to myself, I am in my fucking house. Would you back up off me? I am not in a recording studio. I am not at the radio station. Y'all got so much damn to say, but it's like, my God, you know what I mean? It's none of you guys in here, of course. Um, it's, it's the trolls, you know what I mean? Or it's, it, it could be someone in here, but they went under their second account and they didn't want to, me to know it was them. Um, I, I like constructive criticism, you know what I mean? But when it comes through as just like nitpicky, like don't bother. You loved it when I did address in the comments. I will start doing it again. I will, because, uh, a lot of you guys do put great comments out there. Um, great suggestions, um, great kind of, um, I didn't think of it that way. Um, and sometimes I even try to include those in videos. Um, and I will definitely start doing that some more um, because I need to get back to doing that. It's been a minute because sometimes doing address in the comments takes 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 a minute. Um, like to get everything together or just because there's, there's just so damn many sometimes. And I know I don't even get as many as a lot of people do. Um, but it gets a little overwhelming because I try to answer as much as I possibly can. Um, I can't, well, I, I can do a, what I have. Um, I don't see myself buying any luxury items anytime soon. Um, because your girl's on a budget. Babe, did you hear me? <laughs> but if I get something, uh, you know, I can, I mean, I can show you some stuff that I have. Um, Thank you, Lily B. Um, I kind of feel like this is a bit of a podcast, you know, but I guess topical kind of things rather than just the three mommies. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I love talking to you guys live, though. Honestly, I really do. It's so much fun. Um, and I love doing videos. But yeah, I guess if I just did like some commentary, like today we're going to talk about such and such. Um, I did want to talk about low value men because I, I really, I feel like, um, I found an article that I read and I felt like they had some really good points. It was a guy, I think he's like a dating coach or something, not Kevin Samuels. It was a different guy. Um, and I had some information on that. Um, and I was thinking we were going to do that today, but then I saw Chrissy's video and I said, well, let me, let me talk on Chrissy's video. Do you guys have anything for me to talk about on Jasmine's video? Um, so she got her stimulus check. Let me, let me bring it up. Cause it's, it can't be very long. Um, is there a specific video you guys want me to click on for, and can you, can you think Chrissy got other, I don't, 
I don't know. I don't know. I did have feelings about that video because I felt like, you know, to me, it's like the devil's in the details. And sometimes, look, you're grown. And I know you have a big community and stuff or relatively big community. Um, did I just roll my eyes? <laughs> um, how about just like, you know what I'm saying? Like everything doesn't need an explanation, I think. I feel like when people lie, there's some psychology around lying. Hi, Flax MD. Hi, Steph. Um, pineapples. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys keep me straight. There's some there's some psychology around lying. And from what I've read, typically when people lie, because the brain wants to make sure that it nailed the lie, it's going to tell you everything you need to hear to make sure that it's believable, right? Rather than when you're telling the truth, you don't always feel so compelled to give a lot of explanation. Not saying that you don't give any, but it's not as much effort because you're just speaking the truth, right? Um, I just always, when I start hearing, like, I didn't go in, like, hearing the video and thinking it was a lie when she said that they were moving and the lease, her lease is up anyway. My thing is this, if your lease is up anyway, bitch move. You don't owe anybody any explanation. If you decide to move every year, you have fulfilled the terms of your lease. You are, you're in your thirties now own it. Damn it. You got nine kids. I don't care if you were 21, you are a grown ass woman when you have spit out nine children. Okay. Um, period. And you are responsible for every last one of them. And if you don't think so, try to get some help. And you are going to know, girl, you every bit of grown and you every bit of on your own. Okay. If your lease is up anyway, why are you telling us all of this extra information about the person not making enough money and they've got a, a very successful Airbnb by the beach and da, 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 da. I just heard a lot of detail that I thought was unnecessary and I thought was crap, quite frankly. And it just, it sent my um, radar up, but I was like, I know, um, I, I know that there's um, the Clawfus is probably going to be on the job. Um, one of my girls that I follow uh, for, uh, she, she drops tea on Chrissy and has uh, dropped tea, uh, some serious tea um, on her in the past. And I'm sure that if there's something there, then, then there it will be. Okay. Um, so period. Uh, I just felt like it was a lot of information. Right. Right. It was just, it was just a lot and it didn't make sense. What made sense is my lease is up and I'm a grown woman and you don't pay my fucking bills and we're moving. Yay. And because I am all loving on this dick. Yeah. We're moving in together. Um, even though I told you guys we don't live together because I don't know who I'm trying to fool or I'm trying to use Daz Jasmine's diversion um, of he doesn't live here. But for whatever reason, homie alleges that he lives in his own apartment. Maybe maybe he's on some sort of uh, probation or uh, I don't know. And he has to have his own place. I don't know. Um, but he's running with this story that he has an apartment, but he's over there with his computer doing his homework in her little closet. And she's always talking about when me and babe get up and this, and he's constantly cooking at your house. And I know people are cheap and it was Rona and he's got a whole apartment. Girl, Chrissy, stop lying because at the end of the day, uh, them girls over there at LSA are going to fact check everything, fact check everything. And um, it's just never a good look to get caught in a lie, right? That's all I'm saying. When you get caught lying, it's so embarrassing, right? I don't even remember the last time I got caught in a lie, but I, I can tell you this. Whenever it was, I was so embarrassed. I said I wasn't going to do it again, okay? Um, period. So... 
Gosh, do you imagine how Olivia felt when that lie started coming apart about her buying that damn house and how stupid she looked? And every single time I picked up one of those housewarming gifts, I would, I would be embarrassed. But instead of being embarrassed, that slore likes to try to shame people who gifted her for um, her pathetic ass lie and her Amazon high school diploma. You know what I'm saying? Like these, these, these low on the totem pole, um, low value basic chicks. Like just stop. We talk about you because you look you look foolish out here. Yes, we watch other channels. I watch a lot of other channels of bad bitches who are handling their business. And you know why I don't talk about them? Because um, it doesn't it doesn't land on my radar. You know why? Because um, they're bad bitches handling their business. <laughs> you know, they're not wannabe talking ass heads who aren't handling anything. Um, anyway, next topic. Um, so yeah, Chrissy, I thought the um, I thought the explanation was weird, and it got my attention. But you guys know I had to come with the notes. Hello. Um, Chrissy, are we divorced yet? Now, guys, let me ask you a question. Now, are we calling Steffi a side piece? Or are we calling Rod a, a side ho gentleman? I mean, are they, they side? Because I know, I guess Miss Nubu, uh, Olivia is running with, she's a side piece, but then Brandon would have been a side piece. If you are married and dating and all parties are dating, or one person abandoned their husband and moved, let's just say maybe someplace like New York, I'm being funny, uh, moved someplace else, um, and they start dating, is that okay? Any of you ladies out here who've been divorced or we're just talking YouTube streets, what are your thoughts on that? Can I get some, uh, some feedback on that? Your man is gone, your marriage is over. Um, you are dating. Um, no matter what your morality is, are we talking side pieces now? Are we talking, we're, we're separated and I'm doing my thing thing. I'm grown. Which one is it? I'm grown or, um, yes, Gwen, think about it, please. I want some thoughtful thought here from 217 people. Um, which one is it? I don't care if Rod is a side boo um, or Steffi is a side bae. I just need to know um, that if you are married and you have had a hood divorce, a hood divorce is when you separate and file no paperwork, but you're not claiming each other anymore. Okay? That's divorced hood style. And usually those are preceded by legit divorces once they have legit moved on and it's like, oh shit, you never got a divorce? Oh, okay. Jay Johnson says, if we're separated, then life goes on. If you've if you've separated households, whether you've done it um, legal or not, okay, Rod is there for the money. This is Megan. Cut the legal ties first. I think that is the right thing to do, but that doesn't always happen. Hi, y'all, friend. You've been coming through like a like good like the good old days. Oh, you think I was slacking for a minute? I've been trying, you know what, let me tell you something. I was talking to someone on the phone last night and I literally fell asleep because I was so tired. Um, just because of the work you got to put in to get these reactions done, guys. It's it's a lot. And then to come through with these videos um, and edit them, um, and y'all don't get me started on Jasmine's editing. Every time I think of how she thinks she's like a fucking editing ninja, I'm like, bitch, come watch my shit, okay? Um, but you do, you do watch my channel. I'm thinking to myself, my God, yes, pineapples. Pineapples does her thing, okay? There's people out here who are editing, okay? And Jasmine, you are not one of them. Just because you can string some clips together of you running through the park and, and chopping up a sandwich, girl, bye, okay? And whoever is watching in the bushes, run, tell that. You can run, clip that, and put it in a video if you want to, or send it to her in the fucking mail. I don't care. I said it. Okay?
Why is getting a divorce so hard? Um, I don't know. I've never gotten one, but what I'm going to say is this. A lot of times people get married young. And then when it comes time to divorce, you're splitting up house. So who's got the money? Who's got the money when you are now, you used to get, you know, you used to have some help, whatever help might be. Um, homie, you know, somebody was paying utility, somebody was buying food, somebody was paying rent or somebody was paying the mortgage, right? So you're splitting up a household. And now on top of that, you have to pay for a divorce. If you've got kids and you've got a house, then you've got to get, you probably need to get an attorney. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but if you don't have anything, and I mean that in the spirit of you don't have shit and that's okay, um, then it should be a simple divorce. And I know here in, in North Carolina, um, because when it was time for my husband to get a divorce, yeah, I helped him. I sure did. Yeah, because we had to move on with our lives, right? Okay, so he he needed some help and and a and a and a bitch came through, okay? And went and looked online and that law clinic here in Charlotte, um, they give you all the instructions and it's easy to file. You just need to have your money, have your coins and have and be, be able to write. If you've got a if you've got like an eighth grade education, you can fill out those papers yourself. And there is like a whole um, instruction guide that will walk you through filing the paperwork. It's just a matter of filing paperwork and then the court certifying the paperwork, sending it back, and then you notifying the person that, that you're divorcing that it's over, and I mean for real though, okay? And then when they get that, they either acknowledge it and um and sign or they contest it and they ask for a court date um but unless you want your ass clowned um because you did the most um normally they will either respond by sometimes not responding or they will respond with a signature and say yeah i'm good and then that's it then it happens pretty quick okay okay um, and probably you need to have about two, three hundred dollars at the most. And I'm talking about also for parking. OK, like it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, Jay Johnson said me and my hubby separated. And after six months, he moved to another state and started throwing his sausage around. You know what I'm saying? Um, Patricia uh, Richard says I'm divorced and did not start anything new till I got my papers because all side stuff he can be it can be brought up in divorce court maybe also if you were you have children and and you have like a rep to protect i think when you're signal no kids nobody really cares but yeah if you have like if you if you guys have worked on doing some things and then also maybe if you're in a state and you make some money and homie could be trying to flip the script on you and get some alimony like brit like uh kevin federline did to britney or um, Mary J. Blige's husband and things like that. Like, if you guys have some dough, I could imagine. Yeah, so um, I guess it just depends on where you are and what the what the situation is. But I think on these YouTube streets um, or just on the streets of, of I'm young and we're silly and we are and we don't have anything to separate, I guess it's, it's okay. Um, or, or it's whatever. I guess it's just up to the individual person. Um, let's see. Chrissy needs to go through the program that will prep her to buy a home. She's low income. Let me tell you something. Um, gosh, what is her channel? Was it Erin Aaron on the go? Do you guys watch Erin on the go? What is it, Erin? Um, let me tell you something. This girl today... Um, did a video on growing your channel fast. Hey, Sofa, how are you? Erin, let me look at my history really quick. She pulled up her YouTube channel. Let me tell you, she's got like 200 something thousand subscribers. She pulled up her analytics and I don't know if it was year to date. I'm going to freeze it and be nosy and come back and report to you guys. Um, she had made, she had made some money. Okay. Um, I want to say when she had isolated it for the month, she wasn't just trying to show how much she was getting paid. She was showing you where to find a particular analytic, but you know, I'm nosy. And I happened to see in the last 28 days what she was making. And it was somewhere, 
And if she filmed that video this week and it's March, I mean, she was already at like six, seven thousand dollars, like six something close to seven. Um, and I know Chrissy. Probably, I mean, I don't know what she gets, but um, I know this chick was and then she said that her uh, private member club, not through YouTube, through something else. She has a whole branding business. Um, and she was talking about this lady who is in her business club. She's like a business club. I feel like it's Erin on the go. Any of you guys who have a business, who are looking to level up, I, I mean, I can't recommend her business because I don't know it, but I've been watching her videos and she is very inspirational. She has a video like production company and she started doing like instructional videos, kind of like think media in a way. And, um, I like her. She's very sharp. She does really nice slick videos. Hi life with Nia E. How are you? Erin on demand. Why was I, I was like Erin on the go. Yes. Yeah, so Erin on demand, she's really sharp and, um, a person that she, um, recommended in this video, um, was talking about how she's decorating her home and she did like some plans for her house and people have been like pounding her for the plans on her house. And, you know, oftentimes we give our intellectual property away for free. Like we, we give our knowledge away, like for nothing, literally. Right. Like, cause someone asked like, Oh, okay, I'll send it to you or whatever. And she kind of had been holding on to it. Cause she was like, you know, I had to pay CAD designers. Um, they are having a custom built home and I guess they are literally designing their own house. And, um, you watch her too, Nia. Yeah. She's really good. She's, she's a businesswoman and she, she talks about many different topics, but all business related. And so this lady who is in her club uh, just did a video on how I made ten thousand dollars in twenty four hours on Instagram, and it was because like she was talking and she kept saying like, "Oh, hey, you know," um, like she would share bits and pieces of her plans, or she would share how she was working her plans, and then people started asking her for her plans because I guess they liked what she was doing, and she said, "Well, I'll sell you that plan for a thousand dollars." And I don't know if it was underestimating. I haven't finished her complete video. I'm halfway through it. Um, but maybe there was a bit of like, I can't believe people are going to pay $1,000 for this. But I mean, she paid to have it done. Um, and people love something ready made. And she just put it out there. Yeah, I'll sell it for $1,000. And she said she got a ton of messages of people saying, I want to buy it. I want to buy it. And um, by the end of the night, the second day when it really soaked in that people wanted to buy these plans from her, she had six orders, set it up on PayPal and made $6,000. And she got on live and told people like, okay, six people have ordered. You guys, I've had got like a hundred emails. You guys are all asking me about these plans. And she got four more orders. I don't know since then, are people still buying? Um, but this design that she came up with for her bathroom, I guess people are like loving it or I don't know, maybe I don't know what it is about it. I'm, I did not build a custom home. Um, but what I know is this, these are uh, two black ladies um, who are monetizing some very positive um, aspects of, you know, their YouTube. I mean, they, they are knowledgeable in specific areas and they have monetized um, and are making a lot of money. So you know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, some of it was house plans as wise men, but some of it specifically is like my bathroom or my, this, my, that. So she had very specific like room plans, um, that she did. And, um, so yeah. So Aaron on demand basically was talking about this channel that works with her. Um, and, by the second time she talked about it, it made me go want to look up her channel because I'm like, you made $10,000. Um, clearly, I don't have plans to sell. Um, but this woman was smart enough to just say, like, instead of just giving it away for free, um, because, of course, she's already paid for it. You know, I've already paid for it, so what do I need to charge someone for it? But then she was like, yeah, uh, I should charge someone for it because I came up with this. This is my intellectual property now. And she just said, I'll sell it for a thousand dollars. She just said, like, I just thought of a number and people. So 
my point was don't underestimate um, what people think of you. You know what I mean? Um, they're either going to think they're going to either have a lot of respect for you or they're not. And based on the way that these women presented themselves on their channel, you know, people have respect for them. And, um, and consider them to be, you know, um, a reliable source, right? So um, I don't know what my original reason was for bringing that up. But yeah, Erin On Demand is, is a great channel. This woman, um, you know, she's got a lot of good advice. I mean, there's other places that I go um, to kind of help me in my YouTube walk. But she's definitely one of them. I like her. Um, Kels, I was calling out for you several times. I had put the link up. I was like, if Kels is here, she would call in. Because um, I was, uh, we were talking about Jasmine. But, um, but yeah, girl, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, there's always, there's always some interesting stuff going on, you know, around YouTube. And honestly, if there's something good, I'm going to share it. And I do need to get in practice of sharing a little bit more of that. Um, because we do talk about a lot of wretchedness um, on these YouTube streets. And I know a lot of you ladies are professionals um, or, and moms and or whatever. We all come from very different walks of life and it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Um, but we're, you know, um, we enjoy uh, running some some dish on, uh, on these channels. But... Um, I need to also make sure that I'm bringing you guys some good stuff too um, that is something that can, you know, put some coin in your pocket, something that will encourage you to, um, you know, sow that seed or go ahead and water that seed um, that you have that you may have been ignoring because um, oftentimes as moms we put our dreams to the side and we don't um, fulfill what we are supposed to be doing because, you know, we're busy raising um, these little ones or taking care of our loved ones. Okay, Lynn? Um, and and if you don't have that in your life, then um, manage yourself, you know, accordingly and operate like that's what you want. And hopefully, look at God, um, it will happen for you. But, you know, you can't walk around here being like a complete and total hater or else you're just going to have opportunity to sit and watch everybody else have fun, right? Um, some people out here have had two and three and four marriages, right? I mean, they've been lucky a lot, you know? I mean, it's, it's all in how you look at it, right? So um, let's see. Hi, Keisha. How are you? Um, hi, KB. Did y'all ever find out what video frame was talking about? That she watched where the girl was talking about my jazz let me um yeah she read her for filth um hold on let me find it if you watch let me find her i was in the middle of watching niecy's video let me find her for you i know who she is but i'll i'll put the link in the chat Um, yeah, she, she, she read her pretty bad. And then there was someone on the YouTube streets that was talking about, uh, doing a Jasmine reaction and then, and said, I'm okay. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to just, cause yeah, uh, with all this bad press on Jasmine, I think, uh, some people are opting like, you know what, let me just stay out of that. Also, maybe because they see how us reactors, you know, what happens with this these reaction channels. Um, let me see. Where is she? She recently took down some of her content, hopefully. Because some, some, okay. And that's another thing. Okay, I'll talk about that for a minute. Um, not to specifically this person, but just the weirdo stuff that people do. Um, okay, here it is. Let me get the link. Um, hold on. Let me just. I'm like, my goodness. Can anything be easy sometimes? Let 
Oh man, okay, I just had it. Okay, here we go. Now, if you're not into, um, now this lady talks a lot on um, channels that I don't ne necessarily profile over here, um, but like Walt, his girlfriend, if you're into like the B-Love sector, this lady talks a lot about that, but she, she did a video on Jasmine. She hasn't done any more, but she, she read her, she, she read her up and down. She did a good job. Um, I was like, okay, Jasmine, I would keep my head down and my mouth shut. <laughs> um, cause this lady is not playing over here. Okay. All right. I'm back. So yeah, go, go check her out. Um, so, but yeah, if you watch Be Love at all and you watch any of the commentary that revolves around like Adrian and Nisha and any of those Sin City, all that. Um, then you will be familiar with this lady, maybe. Um, but I just, she came up in my recommended. And then I also found out that um, someone in our chat kind of um, goes to that channel too. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, because I just saw a video. But you know, this is how it works, guys. The algorithm, I mean, I talk about, I, I do Jasmine videos, right? So of course, Jasmine videos will be recommended to me, right? Um and when my shabby life first started doing videos, they dropped down into my comments. And what was it? The Young and Desperate uh, came to our chat once or twice. So, you know, people know where to go and who who's like a uh, content creator friendly. I don't have a problem helping another content creator. If you got the balls to come through here and ask, can you drop a link? Most of the time I'm going to say yes, unless you come through on some fuck shit. If you come through on some fuck shit, and you try to take advantage of my kindness and try to like make it look like and i don't like the way it went down yeah it's not going down but if you're respectful and um and it's cool it's cool it's just that it's cool i don't mind helping someone you know what i'm saying um i wish that those opportunities had been available to me um when you know when i was growing my channel initially which i am still growing my channel um but when I was at like 10, um, but that, that didn't happen, but that's okay. Cause look at God, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, but at the end of the day, I always say this, no matter how you get your channel, period, you have got to work because you could, you could put your channel up and get a video and it pops and you get 10,000, a hundred thousand views. Right. And what's going to happen is now people are coming back and they want that next video. And um, you got to you got to produce, or else they won't be back. You know what I'm saying? You you may get a lot of people come through and watch, but they may not subscribe until they see that um, you got some stuff there. Because I do feel like some people really take that sub that subscribe button seriously, and I I appreciate that people take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're not married to each other, but I feel like when people hit that subscribe button, they're they're banking on you to because they liked what they saw and they want to come back. And when they come back and they don't see anything, rest assured, I think you give them once or twice more and people are hitting that unsubscribe. So you got to come through with the content. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you come through with the content, um, people will be there and they're going to come back and they're going to be, and as you grow, you know, all of that. Um, but anyone out here, um, if you are new and you are working towards your channel, I think the worst thing is when someone goes ghost, right? Um, yes, D. Harold. You know what I mean? It's it's really um, we are we've definitely built a community here, and um, it, it does it means a lot. You know what I mean? I mean, I think at first when people start turning on your channel. Or when you start, when you turn your channel on, you start to do that first video and you go live and there's like 10 people there, but it's 10 people that you've seen in the comments and you are so happy. And it's like, oh, hey, oh my God, like I actually get to talk to you. I see you in the comments. Um, or they're like, oh, I really love your video. I love how you did that. It's, it warms your heart. You know what I mean? It's like your work just came alive. 
you know, because for some of us, we are putting up videos. For some people, part of the videos is your creative outlet, the way that you film, the way that you edit, the, the stories that you're telling, um, or you, you're presenting your family because you're so proud of them, or you're making meals. I mean, we are giving up a piece of ourselves, right? No matter how trivial it might seem to you or others, it's our interest, it's our hobbies, it's, it's a lot of different things, right? And when it comes alive in your comment section or in a live and people are like happy to see you and enthusiastic about wanting to talk to you, um, it really does feel good. I'm not joking. Oh, thank you. Walk by faith, not by sight. I appreciate that. I think you said the, in the, my comment, I read all comments, guys. If you get a star, a heart, I said a star. Um, I definitely read it. Okay. If you don't get one, I'm coming. Okay. I try to heart everything. If you're on some bullshit, yeah, you're not going to get a heart. You might get a snarky little answer. Um, I was cussing someone out in a comment the other day and it was funny. And as, as fate would have it, um, God didn't want me to send that message. I actually sent it to the wrong person and I had to retract the message. I went and it hit edit really quick because I was like, oh my God, that's not the one I meant to comment under. And I had to say, I, I apologize. I said, I'm so sorry if you read that message. Please accept my apology. I meant to comment on someone else's because it really would have made no sense anyway. They would have just been like, Miss Fran cussed me out in a comment. Um, thank you, KB. I appreciate that. Um, so I deleted it and then I had to, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, what about miss, miss me with the bullshit, the colorism? What about it? Something happened again and their eldest is dark skin though. Um, uh, wow. And their mom, uh, affirmations for, for this all. They both have said nasty things about dark skin. Who? That's why I, mean, I couldn't. I was just, if she made at least one channel to drag herself. I would not be surprised if she made made at least one channel. Chris wants all the coins he can get from doing nothing. Colorist. So you guys are talking about Chris being a colorist. We're talking about Bela's family. Oh, they're colorists. Oh, well, we don't do that over here. Why you think, you know, cause I'm going to look, I'm not, look, don't cry for me. Okay. But I'm going to tell you, um, people think, I don't want to say all, obviously not all people. I'm just going to say, you know, sometimes in our community and I'm, I'm going to say in the black community, sometimes people feel like, or, or don't really acknowledge. Yeah. Light skinned people can get their feelings hurt too. Okay. Um, I try to be sensitive because I know, not even I try to be sensitive. I just, I am sensitive to the fact that, um, there has been like a over kind of marketing of the light skin family, right? Or we even see the biracial mixed families, right? We always see like a little light skin kid. We, see, we might see a, a, a chocolate couple and somehow, and, and it happens. We all, genetics works, you know, it's, it's all, you know, I mean, hey, it is what it is, right? Um, but there's always, you know, and there should be some representation of the full breadth of the diaspora, right? Um, but don't think just because you may think someone has representation that we don't catch those comments, you know what I'm saying? Um, that can make someone who is not chocolate, you know, or, um, of a, of a richer, bolder, um, you know, who is, who is more dark skin feel a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Like we all say things that can make, that can hurt feelings. You know what I'm saying? And even on these YouTube streets, I've had people say stuff about me that I felt was slick colorist shade um and or it wasn't relevant because maybe of my skin color i don't know but i you know what i mean like i'm secure in myself and i wouldn't say that kind of stuff doesn't bother me but it's like bitch i see you okay so i just know i know how how you feel on that and some people just have their own 
you know, like some people may feel hate about some things and some people feel hate about other things, you know, um, I just, you know, when I hear the light skin jokes or the, oh yeah, well, she's light skin. Don't, uh, you know, um, disregard her or, um, just, you know, you know, it's very common for guys. Guys always say, you know, the light skin brother's out of style. You know what I mean? But to think about the light skin guy who's, 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 who's self-conscious about being light skin. You know what I'm saying? Um, because it's, it's not always, a, it's not a badge of honor always in the black community. And at certain points it, it was, um, you know, people feel bad about that. And then people have stories about that. And then how it came to be, um, isn't always something that's a celebrated topic to, to speak on all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I think we all need to be sensitive to each other, period, um, and understand that it cuts both ways. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to diminish the, you know, the, the preference or the favoritism of the powers that be and what they decide to cast in their movies and commercials and things of that nature. So I'm certainly not diminishing that fact. But um, again, don't cry for me a river. I'm not, I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is this, um, it cuts both ways and all of us have our experiences that all hurt, okay? And, um, and that's that, right? Um, and that's uh, one other thing. Some idiot came through and said that I needed to do more research on the vaccine. Look, I am purposely evasive on the vaccine. I'm not going to discuss it. People want to get the vaccine, do you. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that with all due respect. If I am not discussing it, I'm not discussing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, that's it. If I don't want to get a fucking flu shot, I don't get a flu shot. If I get a flu shot, I'm not going to come and say, hey guys, guess what? I got my flu shot. Did you get yours? I'm not a healthcare professional. You know what I'm saying? That's not my, it's not my mission. It's not my goal. I'm not trying to, I'm not making commission off of getting people vaccinated or vaccinated, excuse me. Um, and, um, and that's that, you know what I mean? So like, if I sound uneducated on the vaccine, fuck you. And maybe, maybe I'm not as educated as you are on the vaccine. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Like I care about Rona, you know, I've been sitting in this house for a year, just like everybody else. But for someone to come tell me that I sound stupid, like literally they said I sound stupid. I'm like, you bitch would not say that to my face, okay? You know, I, people are bold up in these comments, okay? Half the stuff I never even bring up. I don't even talk about it with my husband. I'm just like, you are lame as, as I don't know what. But, you know, since I'm, since I'm talking about it today, if that person happens to be around in this chat or listening, probably at this point I only have people who are like 100% riders. Um Shut the fuck up if you don't have something nice to say. You know what I mean? If, if I'm not your cup of tea, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Star, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's a personal choice. Um, I believe that, I believe in medicine, you know. Um, I've said this a million times. If you don't know, my, you know, I, my dad was a doctor. My mom was a nurse. And I believe in medicine. And I believe in science, you know. Um... And as a family, you know, we've made, we we're making certain decisions. I think if it came down to it, um, I've had vaccines. I've I had to get what the hepatitis when Farah was born. Um, I had to get a couple of other things just to update, you know, update all my stuff. And of course she was, I'll disclose, uh, she was fully vaccinated. She's, you know, she's, she's not a not vaxxed kid or anything like that, you know. Um, but as far as, what I'm going to say is new and experimental. I, I'm just not going there until I feel comfortable. So when I said that I, I'm okay with being last online, I mean that. And, um, but I'm, I, you know, this is a gossip show. And for me to sit and discuss something, um, when I'm getting ready to go up one side and down the other side of somebody and talk crap about, um, it's just not appropriate. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, my God. 
I would just love to see some of these people manage a live chat for an hour and get ripped a freaking new one. You know what I'm saying? Like, my God, all these people have so much to say and have never even posted a two minute video on their YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, uh, you know, I'm like I said, I'm not a healthcare professional nor scientist, but at the end of the day, I know probably about as much as you do. And maybe if you know more, good. Somebody asked me a question and I was trying to dance around the topic and um because i wanted to be sensitive to people and how they feel and um okay gosh you know my goodness yeah it's you see this it's a it's a sensitive topic and i think look guys we just have to respect that people need to wash their hands people need to stay out of the way people um look and whether somebody's running to the pharmacy to get it now or they went three times and they're out, don't worry about it because all we can do is control ourselves and um, because we all know this, the vaccine, look, I don't want to talk about it. Nothing is 100%, just like a birth control pill because number one, you got to take it. Um, number two, um, they're never going to give you 100%, even on the tried and true gold standard 28-day orthonovum whatever, right? Nothing's 100, okay? Um, how many, yeah, I mean, chicken pox has kind of disappeared, but I mean, there's lots of things that there, it's just going to happen, right? Um, and I'm not using that as an excuse, but what I'm saying is this. People have to be able to do things in their own time and when they feel comfortable. And I think as good old American citizens, we need to accept that. Okay. Right, Patrice. I'm in no rush. If I had to, if I had to, if someone said on Rahim, on Farah, it wouldn't be a question. Okay. And I already know if it was on me, yeah, my husband would be like, you know, I really don't want to do this shit, but I'm going to do it because I love my wife. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, Lynn. Um, okay. So that's that, you know? Um, in some states, you still have to wear your mask. Um, I don't know who, I think Texas, some places have taken down their restriction, but um, I kind of, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this guys, low key, I like my mask. Like, I feel like it's badass. Don't you, don't you feel like a bad bitch sometimes in your mask? When I put on these babies, my Porsche design, when I put on my uh, Kris Jenner, my Kris Jenners are actually my my mat, my black on black mats. Guys, some of you guys ask about these. Um, these are Porsche design. Um, they have interchangeable lenses. This this piece comes up in the middle and you can change out the lenses. I have about 20 different lenses, okay? Um, I've got the, the black on black mats, which are the ones that Kris and Kim wear all the time. These are the ones Chloe wears all the time. Um, love these these are i've had these for a long time me and my husband both have them um i have i have three bear uh my husband you know he's got his and um they're amazing if you are of the variety that you lose your sunglasses don't bother these are very these are expensive these are these will run you um about 550 okay um they come with the brown shade and they come with whatever you select right um, and then to get additional lenses they're like about 60 60 ish to $80 these are the 69s okay and this is the size um, is that 69 am I getting that right maybe maybe they are 69 I don't know um, I have to look it up but if you want me to I'll put a link um, it's, it's not an affiliate link or anything I'll just I'll send you to the website you can check them out. These are these are badass glass. But my point was when I put these on, or any of my, I just when I have 
my mask on and I'm like, oh, you can't see me. I'm just like, I don't know why it makes me feel, it makes me feel a way. I, I actually kind of enjoy wearing my mask. I'm not gonna lie. Um, well, I do think Melissa, to your point, I do think, um, we need, we need fresh air for sure. Um, but I think that there are also many societies out here that are covered. And um, a lot of those those societies um, were virtually Rona free. Okay, so there's somebody, there's somebody in the mist. Let's see who this is. Hello, you flicker. Hello. Hello. As you can tell by my looks, I am a Thomas. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I don't know who you were, but you look silly and we're grown women over here. Um, you've been banned. I think you're, I don't know if it was your IP or just your user, but bye. Okay. Don't play. Yeah, low key, I will miss masks. Okay. Um, I'm not going to lie and say like maybe next winter as it starts to get flu season again, I will be wearing my mask again. I think it's, I think it's a good thing, but I also, you know, like I was saying before, um, there are a lot of societies that are covered. And I think, you know, one thing, I don't know if anyone even talked about it and if there's been dialogue on it, because I'm not, um, I'm not Middle Eastern, I'm not, um, I'm not Muslim, but I feel like some of this coveredness and covering our faces, covering our mask, you know, um, even though they are masks for health reasons, um, I feel like it gave a, a greater um, appreciation for um, all of our friends and neighbors out here who live um, a very modest, you know, live and dress modestly, right? Who have to cover their faces and things like that. Uh, maybe some of you didn't have that tie-in, but I certainly did. I felt like, you know, I, I felt, um, I felt it, uh, it, 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 it gave me a little bit of, um, you know, I mean, it is different when people are looking at you and they can't see your face. I think it made people very uncomfortable at first. And, um, you know, it, I think that was, it made people very uncomfortable because they couldn't see their faces. Because I was telling my husband one time we were pulling up to the gas station and he was putting his bandana on. I said, you know, once upon a time, people would think like people getting ready to rob a damn bank, pulling up somewhere and tying a bandana on. You know what I mean? Everybody looking like is the damn old West up in here, you know? Um, now, like, also, I feel like people have had to learn and get a good dose of mind your fucking business. Don't worry about how I look. You know, I'm, I, I really don't mind it. And I also like my space. So the six foot rule has been amazing because I, I like that people are keeping their distance from me. Keep that damn social distance. I want you to keep that energy once the pandemic is called off. Guys, also, not to mention, when the damn pandemic is called off, all y'all going to have to go back into work with those trifling-ass people that you work with, okay? I love matching my masks with my outfits. It's like damn fashion. I love it. Yes, it's fun. I, I don't know if any of you guys have not, like, found the joy in your mask yet. I mean, but look... If you never got Rona, you better thank God for that mask, okay? All right? That mask saved your life because a lot of people didn't make it, right? Or a lot of people are still feeling the effects of awful Auntie Rona. You know what I mean? Um, and I'll tell you now, since we're kind of almost on the other side of it, I mean, there were a couple situations, um, you know, I got tested once and you guys saw me all the time. I was never really sick or anything, um, but um, I went and got tested. 
I didn't do a whole dramatic pull up to the doctor's office and do we have COVID? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, way to exploit yourself. I'm sorry. I'm just giving my opinion today, but I think that shit is so fucking whack. Now, if you felt like you had to do it and you did it and whatever, okay, I said it. I hope you're not offended. If this is just my opinion, I just feel like, gosh, can, can anybody keep anything for themselves? You know what I mean? And now that it's been like months and months, um, but I was worried. I was worried, you know, because, um, because I was, and it's not my story to tell. So I'm not going to, um, you know what I mean? Like contrary to what you might think, I don't tell people's business. Um, but yeah. And, um, that's that, but I was worried. I was worried the first time. Um, and then once, um, I was faced with having, you know, like we had to do something else. I was just kind of like, Oh my God. And then negative, you know what I mean? So like, we've been good, but we've been in the house. I've been here talking to you guys. I've been making videos, keeping busy, um, not going to restaurants. We don't eat out much. You know, and when we go places, me and Farah, we go to the same places. My husband refuses to eat out. So he, all he eats is my cooking for the most part. I mean, I've got, we've gotten some takeout here and there, but we have really tried to follow the rules as best we can as they were laid out to stay safe. And none of us under this roof got sick. Okay. It's not your No, and they're also not on YouTube. So they're not on YouTube. So I, I don't get to tell their business. Like if they were on YouTube running their business up and down the YouTube streets and I'd be like, yeah, girl, da, 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 da. I was there. Um, but no, it's not. You know what I mean? Like, no matter your race, there's always someone that's something about you. So Mira, exactly. I mean, of course you could be Italian and you could be of the more olive variety and you could be of the more, well, we're from the North. Okay. Um, right. Cause even, even got guys, believe it or not, Caucasians, there's a, there's a, you know, I don't want to say there's a pecking order, but, um, people, you know, look, every, we all do it. So it's not just us black people. I just don't, I don't know what the politics are involved in, um, you know, in households where people may feel like, well, so-and-so, um, she's got that olive color and she's got the brunette hair, but you know, I'm, I'm more Nordic and we, we present more like, you know, cause my grandmother was Swedish and we've got blonde hair and fair skin. I, girl, you know, that, that blonde hair has been celebrated. Okay. And I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, we, we only need to ask our friends and neighbors um, to gain understanding of what they go through and, and, and what colorism could mean in different, in, in different spaces and places and races, right? Um, we know that it exists in many other cultures, even outside of, of the African diaspora. Um, you know, Indian um, people have talked about that a lot, um, that there's, uh, did, have any of you guys ever seen, uh, Mississippi Masala with, uh, Denzel Washington and the girl, I forgot what her name is, the beautiful, um, woman, I forget what her name is, but she also was in Homeland. She was the wife of the, um, of the secretary of, um, of the CIA director. I forget what his name was, Saul, Saul Bernstein's wife. And, um, she was in that movie with Denzel Washington, but it was about an Indian girl who married, uh, who fell in love with Denzel Washington, a black guy in her town of Mississippi. Yes. Was that not an amazing movie? Um, and, uh, her mother was concerned about her pos her prospects of getting married because she was dark. Remember, remember her mom said that to her, you're dark. Okay. So we're not the only ones who deal with that. Um, other cultures and uh, deal with it too. So it's not exclusive to us. Um, I could go into it, but I don't, I don't want to sound ignorant because I, I don't know everything about it. And then I can't really speak for what other people's experiences are. Um, but if we ever had an opportunity to have that type of a dialogue and somebody wanted to really tell us the real um, from their cultural perspective on how it goes down, about colorism or certain features that are celebrated 
over others, um, feel free. We could we could definitely have that dialogue because I think it's interesting. And I think the more that we learn and understand each other, um, it's 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 not a bad thing, right? Um, let's see. Any other comments? We've been on here for oh, we've been on here for two hours. Mississippi Masala was good. If you haven't seen that um, and you're looking for something to watch, watch that. Who did, has anyone seen the social dilemma yet? I keep telling you guys. Are you serious? Didn't that? Did are you serious? Did that happen? Tina, oh, what are you talking about, hun? Um, so yeah, wear a mask at the store. Um, Freakazoid, Cheryl, you went way back with that. Gosh, guys, it was so funny. I was watching a video from last year. I'm trying to find the last day that I drove to work. Guys, on, was it on this day? March 10th, I think. That's the last video I can find, but I that it might have been that day. It might have been the, the following week. I need to check. But there was, um, there's a video I'm trying to find. I don't think I ever published. Um, but I was trying to find... I was thinking it was that, but maybe it's not it. But the last day that I drove to work, I was talking about something, maybe financial literacy or something in my car. I don't know if I posted that either. I need to go double check. But anyway, um, somebody had asked me a question in the comments. And Cheryl, um, the okay, Cheryl, I'm mentioning you because I was in my car. Um, I had just driven to work. And I said, somebody asked me for what I eat in a day. And I, I said, I think it's Cheryl Waz. <laughs> Um, Cheryl, I still owe you that video. I mean, I used to do a lot of what I eat in a day or what I ate for lunch, but I hadn't done like I, a, a when I wake up to when I go to sleep. Um, that was so funny because that was a year ago. Um, but I was trying to find this video. Somebody asked me like, how do you do this? Like, how do you vlog? You got two channels, you work full time, you, you know, whatever. How do you do this? And I was answering the question. And I don't think I ever posted that video. I need to find the footage because I was watching it the other day. And I was like, this is really good. And I don't know why I never posted it. Um, and I felt like it was right before Rona happened. Um, so I'm going to find it and post it. My, let me tell you. So my last day I went to work um, that I think uh, was March 10th. And um, it was a Tuesday. And I was talking, um, you know, I did, I was driving in and I did basically like a love lies and lace fronts type video. And then I stopped the camera and I just pulled in and then I was like talking to my Francois vlogs audience. And that's how I would do it guys. Like I would literally turn off the camera and I would be like, okay, now it's time for this. And I would just kind of use my time wisely. Right. Um, you know what? I was going to eat that yogurt today and blueberries. I still eat that. Um, I still eat Greek yogurt with um, the protein granola and blueberries. You guys are just missing it because you guys don't see all that. Remember when I used to go eat lunch in the park? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I went to work that day and I was so aggravated with some of the numbskulls that I, that I, uh, that were on my team um, that I took a mental health day the next day. I, I basically called, you know, I, I took a, a, a PTO day. Um, I need a book. You know, if we did a book club, thank you for saying that. Um, give me one sec. Let me park on that so I don't forget what I'm saying. Um, those freaking numbskulls. Anyway, um, the next day I call out from work and one of my coworkers um, is like, so we, I uh, worked in Ballantyne, right? And um, if you're in Charlotte, Queen V, anybody in Charlotte, Queen Mika, um, at the MetLife building in our complex, someone came up with Rona. They had just come from out of the country. Like, it was literally people flying in. And this girl on th Friday, the week before, was like, it just got to Atlanta. It'll be here. I'm sure by the weekend, because, you know, we're only three hours away from Atlanta. So I was like, no, it's not. I mean, we were just living La Vida Loca here in Charlotte. Nobody was thinking about it, to be honest. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, we heard about it. You see it on the news, but nobody was, I mean, I just didn't. 
they said somebody at the MetLife building came up positive and they shut the whole thing down. It was like a damn ghost town. Okay. People were run like Godzilla had just ascended onto town. People were like home doors shuttered, nothing like it was a wrap. Okay. And, um, but they still wanted the kids to go to school. So Farah, I think, went to school the following week. And I didn't have my computer. I was working on this computer. Um, but I could call in, you know, I could I could get in because we're cloud-based, right? So um, I went the following week to go pick up my laptop and get some stuff out of my desk because the governor had just basically said it was going to be like a month that next week. And... Um, I have not been back to the building since. And they're only, like, no one is required to even be back in the building at this moment. And when they do, it's only going to be at 25% capacity. And that's not everybody, of course. But, I mean, our school system is still relatively remote. There's some hybrid. Um... Wednesday is a hybrid, you know, is a, is a asynchronous day, which means you go to school from home. Um, oh yeah. Forget miss me. You were in North Carolina. Um, he said two weeks, what? Like the kids are going back to school, but if you are a remote kid, you're staying home, I guess. Um, oh yeah. He said two weeks and then the two weeks rolled into like, but our company was like, um, they weren't taking any chances. They were just kind of like, if you, you don't, you, you know, if you're in the office, you don't have to. Hi, Miss Alexis. How are you? Okay. Um, and then I sat down and recorded like a real serious sit down video that I never posted either. I was going through some footage. I'm like, I need to put some of this out because now it's kind of, I don't want to say it's funny, but just kind of react to like, it was scary. It still is scary. I don't want to take it for granted, but I'm, I'm back to my original, original point. I am grateful and thankful. I even have bought a Miss True blinged out mask. What's up, Miss True? Um, you've been home since the 17th. Yeah. Miss, Miss True was over there making, making, um, masks. You know, some people out here made a killing. Do any of you guys watch Glamazon Tay? Did you see when Glamazon, uh, Tay made like $50,000 in a month? She said something told her to go ahead and buy. They were selling. She went to the, you know, her, the Korean market or whatever, wherever she buys some of her stuff. And, um, she, I guess K-Town, you know, I guess whatever they, in, in LA, where they, the, the vendor markets and stuff, and something told her to buy those masks, and she bought, like, a shitload of masks, and she sold out. Do you remember when she went and bought her, um, she bought her G-Wagon, and she had made, like, $50,000, $60,000 in a month. They sold her out, um... And she basically got flooded with mask orders. And um, she did very well. So, um, you know, I think a lot of people have their Rona stories. You know, they started their businesses. They started, they started, they became a chef. They started cooking. They making pastries and cakes and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, yeah, she purchased a G-Wagon. She sure did. Um, I don't know if she paid for the whole thing cash. I mean, that would have been, that would have been, um, that would have been at least almost a hundred K, right? Depending on, on what, uh, what levels to this, uh, G wagon game she was going for. Was it new? Is it used? Which I'm sure it was new, but, uh, I'm assuming it was new because who's going to come on, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's fabulous. Um, you know. Um, I don't think she would come on like that. Even if she purchased one, I don't think she would profile it like that. I think she bought a new one, I'm assuming. Um, and, uh, but she may have financed part of it. I don't know. Um, but even if she put down a big chunk, that credit said, you're approved for your Mercedes G-Wagon, girl. You got this. Go ahead. Come on and pick it up. Let's go. 
you know um yeah she yeah and i was like girl you did that um and yeah that was like her dream car and stuff i love seeing um that victory lap it's always nice when you can buy yourself that trophy especially as a woman and you um you do that and you pay off a car you pay off something or you go you know you bought yourself that that beautiful mink coat or you bought yourself that designer bag um you know it's i feel like it's it's just such a win you know what i mean when you can do for yourself because oftentimes you know a lot of us were raised by older um you know our moms uh from another time most of those things came from their husbands and i know my mom worked but not much she gave up her career to be a mom and a housewife uh, my grandmother um so my grandfather died early so she was basically a single mom she was a widow and um oftentimes those extras and those um the beautiful earrings or the necklaces those were purchased for you by your husband if you were lucky and you guys had the money and as a woman to be able to you know handle business at home and to be able to treat yourself to a luxury item it's it's a nice feeling now that might not be your thing but if it is your thing or vacations or or jewelry or whatever those things are to be able to reward yourself it's really nice and when people put those videos up i am always happy to watch them because it's it's always uh it's a it's a nice accomplishment to be able to buy your something yourself something that you never really thought you were going to be able to buy before or you know some people are guided by that and they said i would never be able to do it and if that's girl if that's your beating drum i'm sorry but um because you know we can never we're never going to match up to people's expectations especially people that don't like you like we don't give a fuck what they think you beat to your own drum and you have your own goals and don't do things just because people are trying to say that you can't okay don't do that hello my friend how are you am i echoing the time no 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 yay we actually get to talk yay how are yes. you miss drew i'm Notorious. great <laughs> it's right yes, I'm I'm busy. Yes. Um, it's noisy over here because my granddaughter mm -hmm. i am now her care provider because my daughter has a job so yes. i'm working and i'm working yes of course so i change my hours so that i can keep her hey everybody in the live I love all the haters in the back at the job who are watching and questioning how miss true does this th damn thing she has just let you know so mind your fucking business and keep it moving yes. okay Thank yes you. yes if you see me on the youtube streets mind your fucking business mind mind Please. all of it yes yeah so i wanted to come on here earlier when you were talking about jazz man um but I couldn't because I was changing poopy diapers. Oh, um, my God. Yeah, fine. Um, my daddy, when when my husband and I first got together, mm -hmm. and I had called and asked him for something, the first thing that came, and I'm a daddy's girl, always have mm -hmm. been spoiled. Um, I had a car when I was 17, a brand new car when I was like 17. I'm not bragging. Mm -hmm. I'm just Satan facts right it's now. It's facts. It's facts. Um, I've always been a hard worker. I had two jobs, but I was still getting allowance, still getting money for my grades, um, all of that. And as soon as I got with my husband, our anniversary is on the 28th. We're oh, going this on. one? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Yes, girl. It's, mm -hmm. And it's his birthday also. Oh, yay. Yeah. And the turn up will be real. <laughs> We're going to be celebrating because we're going to be here at the house. We're cel on Monday. Monday's our anniversary, but we're going to, we might do something either tomorrow or, um, uh, tomorrow or Sunday or something, uh, online with you guys. So, yeah. And, um, and, and I too, I'm one of those one, my husband, my husband, my husband, he is my king, yeah. I am his queen. Um, right. he puts me on the pedestal. So I, I, I do the same thing, you know? Absolutely. Um, back to the story. My daddy told me when I got a man, he was responsible for me from that point on. Mm -hmm. um, so if my car broke down, guess who had to get me from point A to point B? Exactly. 
Um, there was no or there way. has to be a good reason why he's not coming through for you. Like, you know. he better be in the hospital. He better be mm. out of town or something. Even out of town, you should be able to make a phone call and say, hey, I need you to go get my wife, pick up the car, because why did she call her mom? I can't call my mom anymore. I'm a grown ass woman. I got a man. Can you even believe that? Even if I didn't have a man, I would still know how to handle the situation. But I have a I have a husband and I wouldn't have to do anything but make that one call to my husband, sit back and wait. Right. Or also just the fact of triple A. Triple A. Y'all don't have damn triple A for thirty five damn dollars. Who doesn't have triple A? If you don't ladies, single ladies, married women, if you don't have triple A out there, get you some. It pays for itself. It, it does. Just it, the it really does. The discount alone pays for itself. And if really? you are someone who has cars, if you have a bunch of cars, I don't know if y'all have a bunch of cars, but true, my husband, he used to have a dunk. Um, we had a long Catalina, okay? Like, girl, like, y'all, we rode around like that. Yes, we, mm-hmm. we did, and we still would if it, you know, we had time to really take care of his car. Um, you, if you got a bunch of old cars, you like classic cars, things like that, you got to have triple A because you're going to have to flatbed that car somewhere at some time. And that $35, one tow, it pays for itself. It is. So, and it's so many other benefits that come with triple A. You get mm-hmm. things, I'm just saying. But yeah. as a responsible mom, before anything, I got to make sure that I can get my family from point A to point B. I'm a grandmother. If I would have had my baby, she had babies in the car. Like, come on. It's some point in your life where you got to man up and become responsible. You got too many things to cuss her out. I do not know. I would have been like, are you fucking kidding me? I can't call my first of of all. My mom is in a whole nother city and state. She's lived her life. She took care of me already. There's no reason why I should have to call my mama for anything. Not a thing. Uh, if you are, which she is 29, but I'm sorry, you got four kids. Like if you can say f- anything, um, that you are f- 40, if you got f- four kids, um, come on now, you do not need to be dialing your mother for help. Your mother needed to be calling you. And, and on top of that, when her mom didn't have heat or electricity, you guys oh were sitting God. over there like in damn no clothes and your mom was freezing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, Jasmine, you no are way. a total uh, disappointment as a daughter because how are you got your mom over there running in and out the house to stay warm and um, and you got the nerve to talk about it like on these YouTube streets? I wouldn't even tell anybody that. That's like a failure as a daughter. I'm sorry. She I mean, don't I don't mean that she's a complete failure, but I mean, that was a fail uh, yeah. in terms of if something happened. If you know a snowstorm is coming, Go get your mom. Yeah. Go get her. Go get her. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get my mom and daddy. Or For make real. sure she's at Mr. Jack's house, the boyfriend, the DJ. Make sure she's at least somewhere where they're together and they have what they need. Damn Chris lame ass sitting around, grilling up food, sucking up air, running up bills, and not yeah. paying shit. That's a sloppy joke. That's yeah. a sloppy joke. That's like having another kid in the house. Who needs another bill? That man right there, I mean, well, that that person right there, he talks too fucking much for me. I cannot stand it. The most you will see, the most you will see of my husband is a high and a bye. Right. Or or if somebody say something slick about his wife, that's when you will see my husband. Absolutely. I mean, I've seen your husband like back in the day when we all didn't know what we needed to know about YouTube. But once we started we that, that slap in the face of how YouTube operates, yeah, yeah. You, you see my husband on a, on a, on a, on, on a very infrequent basis. Yeah. Yeah. And it, 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 my husband had to say something one time because of Jasmine running her mouth. Mm-hmm. And that was the last time he was on here, but it, it could happen again. You know, he always, we always talk about us doing something together, but I really don't want to put my husband back out here. Um, you'll see my kids because we're in the house, you right. know. Um, but and that's your choice. Yeah. What you say? 
And that's your choice. Yeah, you know? yeah definitely. Definitely. Um, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a grandmother, I'm many things. Um, so whatever that my video consists of, that's what it's gonna be about. Um, a true you know, man, a true man, Rose of Sharon, yes, it, and it's me it people settle. I gotta think about how easily they give up the punani. They just run around here slapping that. I mean, you y'all don't know AIDS is real. AIDS is real. What is wrong with? I mean, first of all, I I I don't know if it's this day and age or what. I have <laughs> I'm never freely freely ever giving up the cat. Like they just running around here. Like if if they if somebody want it, they gonna give it. I'm telling you, it's, uh, I'll tell you, so, um, Love by Erica, any of you guys who watch the Cryer family, um, she was talking about, I think she has, forgive me if I say the wrong thing, but I think she may have had something with her cervix. So you know how you get like the cervical, like the whole cervical cancer thing they say is some, is, is, is listed as like an STI because, and basically like that stuff that they have now called Gardasil is really supposed to help preserve your cervix because they they feel like um it kind of almost rots your cervix because you started having sex very early before the cervix was fully matured um so they call it kind of like a um you know when you have a cervical disorder so she i think a dog this is what she has because people were saying to her that it was that something that she has and that she had to have surgery for was a veneer you know uh, a, a, a sti and she was so offended and i just assumed it was her cervix because i know that that's that is that's one of them right mm -hmm. um other than i think um i forget what the, the pelvic inflammatory disease can lead to some kind of bad yeah. shit over time um so Yes. Okay. I, and I'm going to sound very uneducated on this because again, I am not a doctor, but what I do know is this, all this free sex, all this unprotected sex, having all these young boys with chlamydia and all kinds of disease running around. And these young ladies are accepting all of this into their bodies and not knowing, and sometimes having long-term, you know, long-term uh, STIs and um turning it into like was it the pelvic inflammatory disease it's so bad that it's it's got your uterus inflamed and on fire and you have to sit there and take multiple um antibiotics to cure over time when you become a woman yeah your cervix will be rotten and they're going to say you've got oh my God. Cancer, okay that's so, so interesting. Yeah, so outside of aids you'll just rot your womb and it's going to be difficult for you to have a baby okay um on top of the multiple ab's you know that's gonna that's gonna jack your uterus up so one day when you meet a man that you love and you're not able to hold a baby um or you have problems as a result of that you're gonna wish that that sure. numb skull that you gave your body to who didn't appreciate it or deserve it maybe you'd made a different decision i'm done <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, but the sad thing is they'll they'll never listen. They'll never mm -hmm. listen to this. They just gonna keep on giving up the nappy, just walking around. If it, it's just sad. Um, um, Liv is a whole nother story. Um, what she's been out here doing, true, and it it bothers me because she has kind of tried to loop me into this, and I've been really trying to stay out of it. I mean, I'm not going to not report on your channel. Like you're not going to create so much drama that I'm going to just drop you as a channel. Um, cause I make money off of you and I don't, oh, I don't yeah. like, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like you're not gonna run me off. Um, but I'm going to call out your lies. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like this, this woman is weird. She's weird. Like yeah, people yeah. who call reactors weird. I'm sorry. I got to call this one. Like Chrissy, like, she doesn't bother anybody. She doesn't not come for nobody. Jasmine is obviously she does what she does. She says stuff every now and again, but she doesn't bother anybody. Uh, Olivia, she wants her whole ass beat. Okay, she, she really does. does. For somebody who's never had a fight before, this bitch talks so much shit. I'm sorry, she does so much, so much. It just takes somebody to trip your ass and and and, 
after that is done, it's over. She is a, a liar. I used to be back and forth with Liv. Like, I, I, I liked Liv at first. The old so Liv did before, I, yeah. Before Liv got money because Liv is not used to having money. So when she got a little change in her pocket, it, it ran her stupid. Like, it's burning a hole in her pocket. Like, you you don't know what to do with yourself now. You, you're a totally different person, and everything is a lie. Yes. And her subscribers are, like, just fucking zombies. Like, y'all believe everything that comes out of this girl's mouth, but time and time again... We get we we get to see the truth come out, and y'all still right. believe everything that comes up out of this broad's mouth. Right, like I don't I don't get it. I don't get how they nappy dug out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't get yeah. how they believe her. Um, it's just it's strange. It's strange. I mean, to me, like when people are like, "Oh, do you really believe that Liv did this or that or the other thing?" I'm like, "Look, based on a true story, and I'm going with the video. That's it." I don't yeah. really try to get all in depth. At the end mm -hmm. of the day, we know that she was dating Brandon and we know that something was up with them. Right. And as far as the details, I mean, it's, I just kind of, I'm at a point where I can just accept whatever you give me and I'm okay with that. I think that's also like with Keisha Anderson, um, people were really kind of mad because of the way she, they feel like she deserves so much better. But my thing is this, I never had a problem with Keisha being with Jeremy. Cause at the end of the day, if she loves Jeremy and Jeremy's who she wants to be with and Jeremy wants to be with her, what the fuck? I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, if she does something silly, I'm going to talk about it. But as far as like her relationship and who, who, what she deserves and whatever, I don't care. No. I do not, never had, never will. No, you know what I, I mean? Like, that's yeah, that's her business. Yeah, it is. It is. I don't wish any ill will upon these these women. I wish that they just get their shit together. Well, that's the hope um, when you're watching, you know, because I mean, it's like, what are we invested in? You know what I mean? When you start watching a channel, you do want to see people win. You know what I mean? Like, I, don't, I think sometimes people think like people out here don't want to see them win. I think it's nice to see the, when you see your, the kids grow up, like, you know, people are, people see like baby true and your grands people are watching. They're happy to see the kids grow up and um, have a birthday. And that's why they want to send gifts. And, and they, and a lot of people fall in love with the families, you know, and that's, that's a great thing. Um, nobody wants to see anybody fail. Um, but when you get, the people so invested and then they see you crying and sad or they see someone treating you less than what they think that you're worth, then of course they're like, oh, he's a bum, he's this, he's that, he's not a nice guy, whether it's Gerard or anybody, right? If mm -hmm. I came on here and I started saying some messed up stuff about my husband, girl, the floodgates would open because oh, yeah. people like me, you know, they're yeah. invested in me. So they're going to, they're going to feel a way. And then if I take, a bunch of shit, then they're going to be disappointed because I get on here and say, don't take that shit. And then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I get why people get upset with these ladies. Um, but you know, we, they also have to want it. Like Jasmine is like bottom of the barrel expectations. So of course she got a bottom. She wouldn't know what to do with a, with a, with a guy on his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. you know no. what I mean? yeah, I do. I do. I know exactly what you, you mean. You have to be ready. You do. And you, well, I was just in here reading KP. Uh, and I remember when Liv couldn't even afford McDonald's until Gerard, Gerard got paid. Do you remember that? I remember yeah. that. Yes. I remember that. I remember, remember when she when said uh, when they when she went to Target and she was like, "Oh my god!" Like she had really, oh my god! When she her first trip to Target, I was like girl did y'all did you but she was she was living in the mountains of la um you would think that she had just got here off the boat from some far land where these places did not exist and um but yeah her her complete life changed so oh there you are oh look at that baby she's so cute oh my god and she looks just like you do you think <laughs> Yes, she looks like you. She looks like you and your husband. Well, I mean, she looks like your daughter, but your daughter. Yeah. Looks like you. 
Yes. She's so yes, yes. cute. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. Yes, she's such a sweetheart. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, I just want to come on here because come on here and say that the whole Jasmine thing just was just as sad to me. And I believe it's I believe it's a behavior that she learned from her mom. That's why mm -hmm. she don't know better. And it's fucking right. sad because our kids watch everything we do. I remember when my daughters were three little girls. They had a playroom. Mm -hmm. They had a purse on their shoulder because all I ever did was work. My husband yeah. and I. Mm -hmm. And she, I, I heard them in their plan. They had to be about, you know, three, six, and maybe uh, two or something like that. And mm -hmm. I heard the one say, oh, I'm about to go to work. Okay. Grabbing, grabbing some keys because they watch everything we do. Yes. They they repeat the cycle. And they need to they need to remember that. They need to keep that right. in mind because the shit that y'all putting out here right now, y'all are about to screw up some little people. Oh my God. There's people out here who are getting their kids socialized with never having a job never knowing a paycheck, always having to call and ask for a cash app um, because they need money. Um, and I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a social media career, um, but I just think it's what you do with it. And there's some people like the person we mentioned earlier, Erin On Demand, she is doing her thing. There's a lot of people who are doing their thing out here with YouTube. I think that when you're using it as a career in a vehicle, it's a it's a wonderful thing. If you are just using YouTube as a paycheck and clearly yeah. for Jasmine, I mean, I know we know she does promos and this and that. Um, yes, my dear. What's what's the baby's name? She was just looking straight at us in the camera. India, India, but we her oh, name. India. Is her nickname is Nani, but we call her the Puerto Rican princess because okay, she's Puerto sweet. Rican princess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's so sweet. But you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Jasmine, we know they do promos and stuff, but I think that's kind of hand to mouth money, like twenty five dollars cash app. Like, oh. I don't know that they know the difference between those cash apps for um, for a promo versus someone just giving them money. I, I just I just see a lot of hand to mouth going on and that's just not a good way to live because um your kids aren't going to learn anything now i don't you know chrissy's kids seem pretty sharp and she you know talks about them hitting on a roll and things like that and i i think that's amazing so i would hope that she's teaching them some different lessons i guess i don't know why i feel like i have more high hopes for chrissy um uh, okay. out of all the three um, I've always had, I've always yeah. had hopes, hopes for Chrissy. Chrissy, out of the three, feel I've always felt like no matter what, she was gonna get it. She was gonna right. find a way to get some money to take care of her kids, even if she is getting evicted, even if she is going through, you know, issues. She gonna find a way to take care of her. Right. Um, and you know, and she when she comes and says, "I'm gonna brag on my kids and talk about their accomplishments." I mean, that is a big deal. For people who don't think that that's a big deal, you don't have kids yet, you will one day know how good it feels that when you're getting up at five and six o'clock in the morning to wash clothes and cook oh breakfast and drive to school or go to the bus stop and listen to the teacher on the phone and did you do your homework and all of those things and your kids come home with good grades, it makes you feel like, okay, because when they don't, it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that and that, and it should be. Because, um, you know, but yeah, I, I, um, what do you think? Okay. So Jasmine and the, the situation with mom Dukes, what did you think about her not having any money? What did you think about people are on hard times, but how are you a mom of four? You have a man in the house. One account is a negative. One account is drip dry. And the only other money you had was PayPal and you haven't even seen fit. I have a PayPal business visa debit card. So mm -hmm. I can withdraw my PayPal's on the ready with my with my card. Mm -hmm. Why does Jasmine not have a business account on PayPal yet? What is what's the what's the malfunction? It, I mean it's sad and stupid at the same time. Sad priorities are screwed up. 
priorities priorities are so fucking screwed up. You worried about a man above all things that you don't even have a plan A nor B. You know what I'm saying? I have my my mama always told me, even as a married woman, you gotta have a stash. Okay. You gotta have your own stash somewhere. I'm not, I mean, it's just what I was taught. You know what I'm saying? And my, I told it to my girl. Sometimes I forget I have my stash. And, and, it's and, stash. and that's a good thing. Like, it's a good yeah, thing. It's, it's, it's stashed. Yes. Yes. Have a stack Surprise. on that, okay? That. Make sure you put it, it, work towards getting yourself a stack. Whether it, you start it with $10, you'll be surprised. If you have all this time we've been sitting on Rona, ladies, I'm telling you, you could have been, you're sitting and you haven't been spending money. You put that money in your stash, okay? And then you go back to the ATM, get some more money. If you don't spend it, put it in your stash. Like, come on now. I mean, you should always try Everybody can't do, but, you know, just yeah. at least try even just a little amount. Um, it makes a difference because when you need it, it's there. It's there. Really? And is she sitting up here worried about trying to turn a garage into a living room? Jeez. How, how about you quit buying shit and take that money right. and, and, and put it somewhere because you're going to need it? Right. Stop trying to dress up that apartment and buy food, feed the kids and, and have some money available because there's no excuse as a mother of four. And Never. you know what I'm saying? Never. Like, okay, your phone wasn't charged, but what about Why? that bank account that was on E? That bank account was MT. That was just a, a, a disaster waiting to happen. One, why are you leaving the house with a dead phone? I've never, I never leave the house if my phone is eighty percent. You gotta wait a minute. I gotta charge, or I got, I need my charger. My uh, husband would have been handing me his phone. He would have said, "Here, take mine." Something. See, that's what men do. Don't have anything to hide. And we're in take Texas. My phone. Take my yeah. phone, and then um, he would be charging my phone. So that way, if I went out and something happened, I have a working phone. It's all about the phone, not not looking at their texts and see what emails they get. And in in a relationship, there shouldn't be anything in there that is um, that's out of order. Modi uh, says she still didn't buy a. Who, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who was that? Yeah. Modi, um, she's going to be moving. No, no, no. Yeah. Miss me okay. with the bullshit. Miss me with the bullshit. Says she's still, my phone's going to go dead. I'm about to jump she, off. But okay. she, she still didn't buy a freezer. Right. Oh, my God. What is wrong with as you? As much meat as they eat, she could have it down there in that garage. What's wrong with her? I have a I have a full-size deep freezer in the garage. I got to think about I running out of stuff. I hate okay. to run. I, I don't want to run out of anything. I don't know. It may be complex. Right. Because I hate running out last minute having to go to the store and do. I like to be prepared. If I know what I'm cooking, I can go right to the deep freezer early in the morning, take it out, thaw it up. But again, that that goes back to priorities. Let me get off of here because she's famous. She's cool. okay. All right, <laughs> love you, Miss True. I will see well, you later. Bye, have baby. Good day. Good day. Good day. Bye, baby. <laughs> Tell baby True I still love her. She is still my favorite. She is number one. Oh yeah, definitely. Baby she's True. Puerto Rican princess, we love her too, but she's <laughs> number one, okay? Yeah. Um, okay. Um, see y'all later. <laughs> okay. Farrah, you want me? Oh, Farrah came in here like, why did you say that, Farrah? You are my numero uno, okay? Farrah, don't play. Oh, she's so cute. You'll see her on the replay. Okay. I'll let you see her. Fair, you know you're my number number one. You you just fair, you're in here, okay? Fair was like, don't don't play around with my love now. Fair had to come check on some things. Don't be don't don't be fawning over some other cute kids. So yeah. So funny. Um, okay, Chrissy, really quick. Let me just get through my list because we we've gone over time today, guys. Um, we are almost at three hours. Oh my God. Okay. Um, are they divorced yet? Um, the, the one bedroom thing, I think that's the, the lie detector has determined that's a lie. Okay. 
Rod, you don't have a one-bedroom apartment. I don't know who it is, which of the baby daddies is not really trying to hear about you living with Chrissy, but for some reason they felt the need to come up with some sort of fanciful tale about this gentleman having a one-bedroom apartment. And I'm just going to go ahead and vote for you guys on these YouTube streets. Um, the, it's a lie, okay? Um, are they divorced yet? I think not. Um, Demarcus and Chrissy, maybe they are, maybe they're not. Chrissy, are you divorced? That's what we want to know. Um, homeboy does not live in his own apartment. Homeboy is still taking classes at school. Um, and we know why, because he's, he's, um, he's on the difficult to hire list. Okay. And I'm going to say it like that because of his hands. All right. Um, elaborate story about the owners selling the house. That was my number three. We talked about that. I live an hour from any large town. My gas tank is always full and my, my uh, phone is always charged. Amen. Amen, sis. Um, what is going on with these women talking about this men have their own apartments? Because they are they have other men's children, and these other men with the children are ready to come and um, get up in their natural black asses for having um, be picking up another bum outside of their bumness and putting that bum in front of their kids. Okay. Okay. Um, that's why there thou shalt not be no other bum before me. What is going on? Yes. Yes, Nisha. That's what it is. That's the 10. That's commandment number seven of the, uh, of, of rules of having a bum baby daddy. Um, time to merge household. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Um, you've been merged households when you merged your sausage and your boxes together. Okay. That's, that's already been a done deal. Um, he says the ring is coming. Did you guys catch that girl? I was like, this is some BS. Okay. The ring is coming. Did you hear that? He said, oh yeah, the ring is coming and it's beautiful. Um, to your point, was it Patrice or Patricia who said we needed a book club? If we do a book, I promise you on a stack of Bibles, I want to do the 48 laws of power, which is not really a book. It's kind I mean, it is a book, duh, it's a book, but it's not like a novel. It's not, it's, it's, um, it's strategies. Okay. That's what I would like to do. Or the art of war, something like that. Something to get your bad bitch on. Okay. Um, because some people don't know game and um i think it's needed that that's that would be what i would be motivated to do because i i think that people need to develop some critical thinking and um understand how to use these principles not just in your love life not just not really in your i mean you don't want to um i mean you want to know how to control yourself and 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 strategies on how to get ish done. Um, but these are strategies and principles, not just to use in your love life, but these are also strategies and principles that will help you get people off your neck at work. Okay. Um, let a bitch know, yeah, don't fuck with me. Okay. And also sometimes strategy on how to sit back in the bushes and see how people operate. So there's some amazing books out here that will get your mind right. Okay. That is really the only thing that I could really see myself getting into right now with you guys, just because of, um, I think it's needed. You know what I mean? And ev everybody can add and, uh, readjust their toolkits, right? Like there's nobody out here too old, too young period. Okay. To, do a little rejuge of your toolbox so that you let people know, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, you know, it's confirmed, right? Um, in depth and how we need to encourage generational wealth. Um, yes, Miss Alexis. Um, you know, we are on that bullshit over here. Miss Alexis girl. 
look at Miss Alexis. Girl, this is not a high class joint over here. We are, we're like Saturday night at the juke joint, okay? But in all seriousness, I, I agree with you. And I think that there is a place for that. And that's called Francois Vlogs. That's my other channel. Um, we could do something like uh, something more um, professional um, over there. But I think here, I think uh, strategies revolving around um, managing yourself and um, and critical thinking and, and managing managing relationships and how we allow people to deal with us and how we deal with them, I think is priceless um, because as you are making money, um, people need to know that, you know what I mean? Because a lot of, a lot of demons come out to play uh, when that checking account starts to rise, you know what I'm saying? So we can make all the money that we want to, um, but if we don't know how to manage ourselves and uh, govern ourselves accordingly, that money will be gone. Those opportunities will be um, discontinued. You see that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a little, you know, it's like I've got a little ratchet over here, you know, but I mean, I think, um, but I think that's a great idea. And we certainly, um, I think, um, you know, we can definitely, we can definitely do that. I mean, it doesn't even really have to be so much of a book club as it, as this is what we're doing this week. Like once a week, we just do it. Um, and um, I, I just, I was thinking about it the other day. The 48 Laws of Power. I mean, it's just, or um, uh, The Art of War and um, what is that other one? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, we do, we do um, strategies around how to navigate these YouTube streets and life, really. You know what I mean? Um, I think YouTube is really a microcosm of just, you know, kind of a very aggressive life um gameplay that people are um you know it's it's the lives that some people wish that they could um the art of seduction yes um there's a lot of stuff that people that you know on their best day they're not coming with that period you know what i'm saying um i think they just um play for play for play for youtube and they wish but um it's it still can be very real i mean guys there's, um, I mean, I told you guys about, look, all this whole doxing and all of this stuff. I mean, I think that there, there, there's just a, there's a lot and there's, you have to really kind of want this YouTube thing to do it. And, um, you have to build yourself up with a lot of positivity, even if you're in kind of, um, a sector that kind of roasts and gags and things like that, you still have to. You still have to turn that computer on and hit the go live button because there's no incentive to do that other than you. When you are self-employed, like there's nobody who can make me go live. Like I go live because I want to go live. You know what I mean? Um, you guys might write me and say, hey, are we going live today? And sometimes I might say, mm, maybe should I go do another live? Um, and then sometimes I'm like, no, let me stick with my schedule because you know the trolls come out when you do, when you, when you go off script, they go off script. So I've had to learn that sometimes, you know, I'm not going to let the, my right hand know what my left hand do, is doing. So I always try to be really careful. But yeah, I mean, we could definitely talk about money and finance. And we've done that on my other channel. If that's, if that's kind of where you guys want to go, we can definitely go in that direction um, moving forward. You just tell me what you guys think you want to do. Um, and I'm up for it because I have no problem with kind of like a you guys picked it, um, but I would love to make sure that I get the support and you guys show up. You know what I'm saying? Because when I do a live or do a video and there's and nobody's here, that's not super duper motivating. There, it's it's ridiculous. Walk by faith. It's it is. Yep, you have your own driving ambition inside. Well, um, I have to do what energizes me, right? Um, I think if we were going to do something about history or something like that, that would be another channel. It wouldn't be on this channel. It's not appropriate. You know what I'm saying? If we all of a sudden wanted to study, uh, the beautiful African diaspora, 
it would need to be on another channel. I, I'm not going to disrespect conversations like that on this channel. You know what I mean? Um, conversations revolving around money because we are bougie. Okay, I could see that. Um, history, um, African history, things like that. That would be on another channel. I would have to. I wouldn't put it on this channel. Because I'm not going to... Um, also, the audience is um, going to be very very small but there are people out here who want to learn about that but they're not coming to the ratchet mama channel um to get that information because they would say well this channel really exploits the buffoonery and coonery that is um that's on youtube and i would say right damn tootin of course it does but someone's got to talk about it and if you watch my channel yeah i'm not promoting it we are we're talking about strategies and that these women can use um to to not be that way and also encourage women that this is not the right way you know what i mean so i i that's what i would do quite frankly um but yeah i mean i i see what you're saying and um and i think it would it would have to be on another channel but but finance or like a savings club or something like that where we're all reporting in um like okay what what were you like we've got a savings uh plan or strategy and everybody's trying to get five thousand dollars by the end of the 365th day um and we're all reporting in and encouraging each other on where we are um in the process uh i think would be amazing so i i could see something like that um i could definitely see doing something like that and then also maybe um talking about some investment Things. I know someone, um, Life of Destiny, I think brought it up one time about, um, is it Robin Hood, where you can buy uh, portions of stock, you can, there's some other, um, and then of course there's Bitcoin. I mean, there's a lot of people out here that know a lot about topics that I don't. Um, but there are people who, who are doing Dave Ramsey. There's there's many other things. If I did Dave Ramsey, it would not be on this channel. Like I would have to do it on my other channel, like maybe put a playlist up and, and start, you know what I'm saying? So um, certainly email me, Miss Alexis, or let's talk a little more in depth of what you have in mind around finances. And if it's something that, that the community wants to see happen and want to support it in terms of showing up for the videos, and things like that i would even put up another channel i am not afraid to start another channel because um i'm not and i've thought about it and i've tossed it around quite a bit um but it's a lot of work it's a lot of work because then you get a whole nother audience there's people in here who told me today that they did not even know i had another channel and i've got 2600 subscribers over there now they don't all show up why i don't know but that's another story um but it's okay. Um, my um, viewership is picking up. But yeah, if I started another channel um, to do something like, um, you know, financial empowerment or things like that um, for, for women, I would definitely do something like that. Well, Miss Alexis, I would support you. I mean, girl, go ahead and get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we can be doing one aspect and hey, we're going to go over to Miss Alexis's channel uh, because she just posted a video and she's going live in an hour. You know what I mean? Like, girl, use your network. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, when I started, I didn't really have a network. I'm going to be honest. And when I developed a, net, a network, I was in a piece of shit network. And I'm not going to elaborate on that. But if if you know anything about Francois's vlogs, you can go back and I'm sure you can find something in there. Um, but I, I got myself into um, a network um, that I, I just realized that I needed to go ahead and just continue to do what I was doing, which was me. And, um, and, and I did. And I got myself monetized. And there's still people over there who are not um, after years and years. Um, and, um, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? Everybody's got a different track, right? But if your track is finance and and doing certain things, um, then you have to attach yourself around people that you see that are doing what you're doing 
and they may not be doing it exactly how you envision, but they're they're making moves. You know what I mean? There's no need in being around a bunch of schlumpa dumps because um, you won't get anywhere. Um, and then you go as long as you can go, and then from there you you soar. You know what I mean? Yes. So, you know, um, if there are certain things that you want to collab on, um, you know, we're doing a financial literacy piece on one thing and you're doing something else. I mean, definitely we will be there for you. And trust me, you put those titles in right. You have particular topics that are of interest to you and important. People will come. Are you kidding me? My, my husband watches a lot of... Um, that topic, you know, um, and these people have huge channels. <laughs> so, um, yeah, all you have to do is put it out there. Sometimes you just put out that you are a new YouTuber. You will be surprised who will bless you. Um, and I'm going to just say I reached out to someone who is a I would say pretty, she's a, she's a, it's not Raven. I think someone said there was a Raven um, closer to the time it's going to happen because I know how things work on YouTube. Sometimes things don't work out, um, but I have something lined up that I think is kind of, um, I, I, I'm excited about it. I'm excited for this person to show up on my channel and I, if, if everything works out the way it's supposed to, like I'm super excited. So, um, but closer to the time, I'm going to let you guys know, but yeah, you, and I mean, I don't have a big channel. I have a small channel. Guys, I think we talked about everything except for the kitchen sink today. And now we have just, I just mentioned the kitchen sink. Um, guys, this was really fun. This was a good Friday. Um, I, you know, had to start out with cussing somebody out, um, but I've calmed down now and I feel better. Um, and then we talked about lots of things. What else? Let me get my last po couple of points on Chrissy out. Um, let me tell you something, Alexis and anyone else out here who does YouTube, if you are not writing a list on a daily, don't play yourself. Cause you know, sometimes I get amazing ideas, um, and if I don't write them down right away, they're gone. They're gone. Okay. Don't lose your inspiration. Some, you know, a lot of our inspiration is, you know, is divine. We pray, we want God to bless us. And sometimes that blessing comes in the form of a thought or an idea. Don't lose them. When you get inspiration and you get a thought, write it down. Okay. Um, or put it in your phone, however you do, you know, voice, voice, whatever to it. Um, okay. Um, time to merge, time to merge households. That was a lie. Um, the ring is coming. Um, I believe that is a lie based on Chrissy. You're already married or you are not divorced yet. Okay. Um, did you guys notice all 111 of you in the seats of conviction, right? Um, as they call it in church, that's, that's the front row. Um, he is, have you seen him so comfortable now? He's drinking beers, um, in the clawfish. Anybody notice that, that he's over there, he's doing his homework and he's talking with Chrissy, but he is sipping on his Heineken and there's nothing wrong with that. Beer is legal, girl, you know, okay. Um, I'm just saying, Chrissy, you're filming, you know, you're, there's issues with your guy. And you are, um, I just, I, you know, he's at home. Okay. Peace and blessings to everyone. Have a blessed weekend. Jasmine Monique, you saw that. Exactly, right? Notice that, friend. Last two videos I've seen him in, I see those. And, you know, when they were sitting and eating dinner, it's non-alcoholic beer. Okay. If, if, okay. Well, then that's good. Okay. All right. So he's not a drinker. Are you saying Arkesha? It's a um, it's non-alcoholic beer. Was it Moosey? Look, if it's not alcoholic beer, good for him. Okay. 
um, it was an observation. So we'll move on. I'm not, I'm by no means calling the man an alcoholic, but what I'm saying is this, um, you are getting your mom channel on and, um, you've introduced your boyfriend. You guys have a fanciful story about him not living there and all kinds of stuff like that. He had no duels. Okay, cool. Um, and I would continue to, you know, stay on that path. I mean, look, she's, she's changing minds. Um, I know that some of you out there want to have nothing to do with Chrissy because of what, you know, who she's dealing with right now. But, um, I mean, he seems okay. You know what I mean? Like, if he's not doing anything to her and he's making her happy, what can we say? You know what I'm saying? Because the alternative, last year, Chrissy was in a world of pain. You know what I'm saying? It's almost painful to look at those videos. She was in a bad place. And this guy, you know, she seems to be happy now. And honestly, I'm just, like 100%. Um, I'm happy uh, for her because she's got nine kids and there's nothing worse than the unhappy mother, right? We've seen that with Jasmine and the fact that Chrissy is happy today, um, that's a win. You know what I mean? Because the kids have a happy mom at the house and that's like, that's, that's a, that's good, right? There's nothing bad about that. Um, and then the last thing I put, um, did he say he was in school? And I think he said he was in school cause he was on the computer. Thank you, Arkesha for clearing that up and answering that question um, and miss me with the bullshit. Thank you. Rod is not drinking on camera. He's drinking non-alcoholic Odules, okay? Um, and apparently he's in school. So I was trying to give him a little bit of like, um, okay, Rod, we see you. But I know based on his past, some people are still kind of like, mm-mm. Um, but you know, all these guys get the side eye from me anyway, period. Okay, just because I don't have to say it. <clears throat> I'm going to leave two guys. We've been on for three hours. It was a blast. We haven't gone, well, three hours last Friday. Um, but we haven't done this in the daytime for a long time. We covered a lot of ground, and you guys are awesome, and this was fun. And um, I will see you guys another time. Okay, I'll see you guys on Monday. All right, bye. Have a good weekend, guys. See you later. Take care. Bye, LaToy. Bye, LaToy. You've been quiet. Um, I will see you on Instagram. Okay. I will come check out your Instagram feed. And um, bye, everyone. I'm just looking at all the names, guys. You guys take care. Courtney Fixing Mommy, Instagram. Guys, um, Teely, I don't know if I follow you or not, if you're following me on Instagram. Um, if I'm not following you back, if, if you are following me on Instagram and I am not following you back, can you please um, either comment or just send me a note and say, hey, I'm Teeley or hey, I'm I'm Mo D. Follow, you know what I mean? That way I know who you are because if I, you know, I'm not going to say so much if I don't know who you are. Um, it almost doesn't matter, but I don't want to follow people back if they don't want me following them um, because everyone's not following me because they want me, you know what I mean? They just, they want to know what I'm posting. They may not be, you know what I'm saying? Patricia Richards, Clawfus. Are you from, are you from the Clawfus? Oh, uh, maybe you're at that point in the live where you're hearing me say the Clawfus. Um, okay. All right, guys. Um, all right. Have a great weekend. Bye.